And my dream was to be the best. It's not just the intelligence. It's the sharp mind. It's the good chin. It's the tremendous heart. When it comes down to boxing, I'm the best at this. my life, man, my whole life. Everybody around me was boxing. I come from a fighting family. The Mayweather family included a father and an uncle who were both fighters. The younger one, Roger Mayweather, was the most successful, winning titles in two weeks. And the boos you hear in the arena greet the entrance of the man whom Mexicans see as the Mexican assassin. A man who's built much of his career by knocking off Mexican fighters, Roger Mayweather. Roger had even fought a young Pernell Whitaker before Pernell was a champion, eventually losing whilst taking Pernell the full distance. His father, Floyd Mayweather Sr., was a respected fighter and had once fought the young Sugar Ray Leonard early on in Ray's career. Before going on to greatness, Ray Leonard won the match after the two battled it out in a grueling 10 round fight. But for Floyd Sr, his career was tragically cut short after a family shooting at the Mayweather home. Floyd's father was shot in the leg by his mother's brother when Floyd was just one years old. And at the time, his father was holding him in his arms, trying to discourage the shooter from fatally aiming at the chest. It was really a roller coaster ride, you know. Um, people kind of know uh, the background of Floyd Mayweather. You know, I stayed in Jersey, I lived with my mother, and, you know, seven of us lived in a one bedroom. You know, at one particular time, uh, my mother was on drugs. Um, my dad had been shot by my mother, brother. Sometimes I would stay with my grandmother. Of course, she was cleaning up offices and cleaning up hotel rooms. And my dad, of course, you know, he hustled, you know, in the, in the inner city. Eventually, you know, I moved back to Grand Rapids, Michigan with my father. Um, you know, I asked my mother, can she move back also? And she eventually moved back to Grand Rapids, Michigan. And um, I was happy when she moved back, but she was back on drugs. You know, I seen my dad. Um, sell my mother drugs, you know, just those are the things that I went through in life. Not only was it a tough life, but it was also tough love. You know, my father, any, anything, my father would beat me for anything I'd done. I don't care if it was. I may not even done it. My dad uh, was real, real hard on me, real hard on me. Uh, I couldn't make no mistakes. You know, if I make a mistake, you know, my dad, you know, kind of, you know, cuss me out, slap me, check me. And it was that tough love that translated into a tough training regime. People say that they treat him like he was in the boot camp. You know what? Look at him today. Believe it or not, I started training my son when he was a baby, right in the crib. I take his hands and start doing that. Pretty soon, my son started doing that on his own. I couldn't believe it. I used to go to the gym and just, you know, stand on a chair and hit the speed bag. And, you know, after hitting the speed bag for a few years, I got good at it. So when I was four years old, I know how to hit the speed bag like a, like a professional. Floyd's father began to coach his son day in and day out, and the youngster fell in love with the sport. As an amateur, Floyd accumulated an 84-6 record, and he won three national Golden Glove tournaments along the way. At just 10 years old, he was described as being able to do what 19-year-olds could do. It felt good, but it was very hard. I was struggling, you know, struggling fights. First, I want to thank the good men upstairs for 
giving me this opportunity to win the, the national championship. And second, second of all, I want to thank my father. He's the best in the Midwest, I must confess, for all the rest is no contest. But the Mayweather world would be turned upside down as Floyd's father was convicted to five years on a drug charge. I thought about my son a whole lot. I had to become a man at a young age, at 16. At 16, I had to provide for myself. I had to make a way for myself. When my dad went to prison, when I was 16, Don Hale brought me in and treated me like I was a son. When Big Floyd, Floyd's dad, went to prison, he sent little Floyd out to be with Roger in Las Vegas. After about two weeks, Roger couldn't handle it. And uh, he sent him back to Grand Rapids. He was living with his grandmother, running the streets, wasn't in the boxing gym. So I got with Floyd, uh, he called me the following week. The next day, Floyd was actually staying at our house and uh, ended up living with us. And I started taking him to the boxing gym. And uh, it was my, I, I was not a trainer, didn't claim to be, still don't claim to be, but I got Floyd in shape. And he went to the National Golden Gloves uh, in March. That was in January. In March, he wins the National Golden Gloves, got the uh, biter of the tournament and uh, uh, I started working with Floyd. The thing about Floyd is he was so focused on boxing at that point, he knew what he wanted to do, and he was gonna do whatever it took to do it. And whenever he would go into the ring, he wanted to make sure that he was in the best shape that he could possibly be in. Uh, he had a competitive spirit about him that was different than any other fighter I ever worked with. He was easier to get to train than any other fighter I ever worked with. Uh, with Floyd, I can remember being in the gym with him and Carlos Navarro was the number one ranked 119 pounder. And I'd say, well, Navarro went 12 today. Well, I'm going 13. Uh, he was very, very focused that way. Floyd wanted the best of everything. Uh, whenever the new Jordan shoes came out, we'd have to wait till midnight so he could get them. When Don Hale brought me in, it motivated me to want to buy a house like that, to want to put my mother in a big house. And it was around this time that Floyd got real evidence that he could be great after sparring with older boxing pros that Don Hill managed. And as a teenager, he got the better of them. This one I knew I was on a, a, on, on a, I can handle the pros because I was beating every pro. At 17, I was beating every pro in my gym. So I, bought, I was boxing Frankie Randall before he fought Chavez. And he's the first guy to ever beat Julio Cesar Chavez. I took it easy on him. Even though I knew I could have got the best of him, but I never wanted to. I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to give him my best because I didn't want to lose my friendship with him. They see me. I I boxed, so that's when they said we want to box Pernell when you come back the next day. As Whitaker clowns a little bit for the crowd. This is what the Pernell Whitaker was the defensive genius who had also schooled the great Julio Cesar Chavez. Good work for both of us. That's all I say. See, by the time I was 17, I had already 18, I already been around the world. In 1996, Floyd Mayweather competed as a featherweight in the Atlanta Olympics. This was Floyd's chance to perform for a global audience, and if he could win it, he could guarantee himself a flying start to his pro career. Floyd steamrolled through the first round, winning by an impressive 10 to 1 margin. The second round was also a landslide, and Mayweather scored 16 to just 3 from his opponent. In the quarterfinals, he became the first American in 20 years to defeat a Cuban. He won by just one point to advance to the next round. And all seemed well in the semi-finals, as Mayweather boxed brilliantly against the Bulgarian Todorov. Stop! Stop! But all of a sudden, his Olympic dreams met an unfortunate end when the judges didn't announce Mayweather as the winner. The robbery was so bad that even the shocked referee had preeminently raised Mayweather's hand. They need to get rid of the whole system and get a new establishment to control amateur box. We all know I got ripped up, you know, I gotta live with it, you know. I'm just gonna, you know, take my bronze medal, you know, and go home, you know. And, you know, it's time for me to turn professional, you know. I can't deal with this amateur boxing anymore. If anybody 
with one eye, a 90 years old can tell me that Floyd Mayweather didn't score at least 40 blows in those three rounds. Floyd Mayweather won that bout. May 2nd, he should have a gold medal hanging in his corner, but he didn't get her, did he? I think that, you know, I don't really want to say I won a bronze medal. I think it's best to say I received a bronze medal because you can't win a bronze if you lost. And with that, Floyd vowed to never again taste defeat. A few months after receiving his bronze medal, Floyd turned pro in October of 96 and got off to a wonderful start against Roberto Apodaca. Making his professional debut, introducing pretty boy Floyd Mayweather. Clean it all the time. Good luck to both of you. Just love. Mayweather showed great power, destroying his fellow debutant in two rounds with punishing blows to the body. You were able to work the body exceptionally well uh, during the course of this bout. Um, yes, because you know Mexicans are known for taking good headshots, so you know I had to go to the body tonight. First of all, I like to you know thank God for this opportunity to come out here and don't do what I had to do tonight, and um, I also like to thank my dad. Um, and my Uncle Jeff and Rogers, you know, for being behind me and helping me while my dad's gone right now. Going very well, but there's like a little more things you can do, but as you get to be fighting more often, it's going to come to him naturally. The Olympic robbery had also robbed Mayweather of the money a gold medalist could earn, which would cause problems later. Young Mayweather is getting $7,500 for this, his third professional fight. Promoter Bob Arum told me that the difference between the bronze that he won and the gold that De La Hoya won is that De La Hoya was already making $50,000 at this young stage of his career. But for now, it was time to focus on the fighting, and that he did. For our tougher pros, tougher fighters in the amateurs than Cooper is. And referee Mitch Halpern on this fight. Oh, man. By Mayweather. Mayweather racked up 13 knockouts in 17 straight wins, and he was doing it in style too, giving us an early taste of the personality he would become famous for. This one's scheduled for oh. six. Down goes Heepert. And Mayweather comes back with rights, and Heepert will go down and... That's it! Oh, Heepert is hurt. By now, Mayweather's father had gotten out of prison and rejoined the team. The corner of Floyd Mayweather, his dad. I feel good, Daddy. Relax, man. Go on, take care of your business. You beat me, guys. You're going to stop it. Okay. Floyd Sr. came back right in time. After only two years of fighting, Mayweather got his title shot. I just want to thank top rank Bob Aaron and Todd DeBuff, you know, for giving me the opportunity to fight for the world title um, October 30th against Janeiro Hernandez. Um, a lot of guys out there want to say uh, that I don't deserve a title, but um, I'm not ducking and dodging nobody at the 130 pound weight class. I'm willing to fight everybody and all comers. Um, I just feel I'm going to get a victory. I can't predict which way and how I'm going to do it, but I can feel, I do feel that I'm going to get a victory against Janeiro Hernandez. But I feel it's going to be a good, tough fight. He's a very tough guy and a gain opponent. It wasn't too long ago that the champion Gennaro Hernandez had been his idol in the past. Because when I used to lay in the bed, like I said, I, I, it was so crazy. I used to lay in the bed at night. And I got, my room got posters all around. I got posters all around my, my bedroom of all fighters. The, the fighter that I had right above me was Gennaro Hernandez. And I used to watch him fight. <laughs> I used to watch him fight at the forum. I used to like, he unbelievable. I said no fighter would never beat him. But that was exactly what Mayweather was aiming to do. Hernandez had been fighting for 12 years longer than Mayweather, 
and had never been beaten at 130 pounds. Hernandez had grit and intelligence and he had beaten the division's best and if Mayweather was to beat him, it would require Floyd to be at his best. Floyd was the first Olympian from the 96 games to fight for a title. Obey my commands. I want a good clean fight. Touch gloves, let's go to work. Right from the start of the fight, Mayweather grabbed the opportunity with both fists. But as you get closer, it disappears. Now, hard right hand by Floyd. The went down. You could see Hernandez's lead foot is. So far, young Mayweather is simply beating Hernandez to the punch. No one in the division had even come close to this type of performance against Hernandez. One of the rising training talents. So far, the rounds have not been close. Mayweather is winning them all in the view of most of us. That's why I say he's the best natural fighter around because that's what you want to do. Make him exercise that side of his body that he doesn't train. And Hernandez has backed up against the ropes just as Floyd told us he would. And Floyd going to work. Right hand lands for Hernandez. Floyd comes back with a one, two, three, four, five, six. Six punch combination. And this guy's hitting him. And that's when it's the corner's job to show that right. In the that's right. And Rudy is going to turn to referee Jay Nadians. After eight rounds of brutality, Hernandez's corner waved the white flag and the tears of joy flowed from Floyd. A proper show of respect for a great champion who was beaten by a younger, better fighter tonight. Gennaro Hernandez congratulates the new champ. What did you see in him that told you that uh, somebody with his few professional fights could do this to you as an experienced veteran champion? I try to give him my best, but you know, he's just too quick, you know. You know thanks, man. A true you champion. A You're a true champion. I appreciate it. And you'll be a champion for a long time. Be the best, you got to beat the best. He said Hernandez was the best. I fought him, I was victorious. Okay. Now they say Angel Man Freddy's the best. No, I'm fighting, I'm fighting him and, you know, with God on my side, I'll be victorious the second time. So it was on to the next and Mayweather defended his title against the highly rated Angel Man Freddy, scoring an impressive second round stoppage. And he's not confused at all. He's just boxing, keeping Man Freddy out in the air so he can see Man Freddy. Man Freddy in trouble as Mayweather pounds away. Man Freddy almost went down. He won't take a knee, but he isn't throwing back. Mayweather pounding, pounding, and this one's going to be stopped, too. I use body in my shots. And that's why um, Junior Hernandez quit. I mean, people say, why did Hernandez quit? It don't look like Mayweather punch hard. If you're not in there, you wouldn't know. In just three years of pro fighting, Mayweather worked his way up to number two ranked fighter in the world, an astonishing feat considering the time frame. However, despite his high ranking, this didn't exactly translate into big paydays and this led to tensions with the televising company HBO and his promotional company Top Rank. It was promotional stablemate Oscar De La Hoya who was getting the big bucks. De La Hoya was receiving around 10 to 15 million dollars a fight whilst Mayweather had just been offered a 12 and a half million contract for seven fights. Mayweather infamously labeled the contract offer as slave wages, but HBO's executives and promoter Bob Arum disagreed. They felt that Mayweather had an inflated perception of his value. George Floyd Mayweather Jr. believes, as do many of the rest of us in the sport, that he has Oscar De La Hoya kind of talent, Roy Jones Jr. kind of talent. But as the result, he's already saying openly that he wants Oscar De La Hoya kind of money, Roy Jones Jr. kind of money. <laughs> this guy is a package. And we not, may not realize it right now, but we better jump on board. Although you said earlier, <laughs> jump on the train, there's a lot of people already on board. This guy's got the package. He's going to go down if he continuously stay in good shape and one of the best fighters of all time. He may as well start asking for the big money now. As the story goes, HBO executive Lou DiBella offered a solution. They could walk down Times Square together and if Floyd was mobbed by fans, HBO would heighten their offers. They never did take action on this solution. 
However, it highlights Floyd's struggle for fame. And to add to his contractual issues, it was discovered that Mayweather had been getting robbed of his ring earnings. You gotta have, you gotta have the right people around you. Mm -hmm. And certain people around me was, you know, making me sign contracts that I shouldn't have been signing. Had me in a position with a, um, an accountant that was stealing from me. Mm. So what happened? So what I did was I brought somebody else in, um, James Prince. He was a good businessman. He got a, a, a good business head on his shoulder. So I brought him in to look over everything. And they said, I've been getting beat the whole time. Wow. Mm. It seemed that Floyd's biggest problems were not inside the ring, but outside of it. Years from now, I want people to um, look down the line and say, um, Floyd Mayweather, he was an exciting fighter, a great champion. He fought the best, and uh, he was willing to fight anybody. Around the turn of the millennia, Mayweather was desperate to fight the other champions, but there was just one problem. He was struggling to get big names in the ring with him. Mayweather says his ambition is to unify all the titles from 130 pounds to 147 pounds, four of them, individually and surely somebody is going to show up during that time but right now there really are no felix trinidad's looming and lurking out there to make a big fight with him and after taking a long layoff the boxing critics were falling out of infatuation with the young champion and he lost his top two position in the pound for pound rankings Boy, meanwhile in the seven months since you fought Seven months ago, on my list, you were second pound to pound for pound for pound to Roy Jones. Now, on my list, you're five. Ring Magazine, five or six. In USA Today, Corrales is ahead of you. How do you feel about that? I want to ask you a question. How many fights have you had? I mean, because you, you seem to know a lot about so many different fights. But I want to know how many fights you had. You know so much about Look, the, Floyd, the sport of boxing. But, 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 Floyd, we're not talking about me. Now, you can't expect people to keep you number two when these guys are having super fights. Do you feel you need your super fights now? Well, when it's all said and done, you know, after Floyd Mayweather beat, beats Diego Corrales, after I beat um, Prince Nassim because he's ducking and dodging me, after I beat Joel Castamayor, after I beat Frites, after I beat Paul Spatafor, any champion out there that wants to fight Floyd Mayweather, I'm not ducking and dodging, no champion. Actually, I, um, I'm on another stage. These guys can't beat me. I'm the best out there, pound for pound. I'm holding it down. This pretty boy Floyd, the one and only. The issue was that Floyd was considered a high risk, low reward type of challenge for the other champions. So he was forced to fill the void with lower opposition. And despite his dazzling talent, it almost seemed a bit too easy. And I wonder if anybody in Arena's corner will take notice of the fact that this is target practice for Floyd Mayweather Jr. And stop the fight. They, they, they were gonna stop the fight, but the... Ignoring... I said, I, I still reign supreme. I mean, I still reign number one. And I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to unifying the titles at 130. Hopefully, I can fight the WBA champ for Mongolia. Then after that, talk with Bob, and hopefully, we can fight Robert Garcia to unify the titles. See, I'm only chasing champions. I'm no longer chasing challengers. Floyd Mayweather wanted to be the best, and he wanted to unify the titles. Negativity is what makes me get up every morning and work harder. Or if I get a book and I see a lot of negative stuff, that make me make that make me get up and run an extra mile or box an extra round. It's just it's gonna make me work hard. And I'm gonna go out there and show the people that. Floyd Mayweather is still the best, pound for pound. The following fights would be without his father training him, as had been done in recent fights, and he assigned his uncle Roger as his head trainer. The father and son duo bumped heads over their preferred training styles. Me and my dad came to a, an agreement that uh, he was going to move on and train some other fighters, and I said that uh, I was going to move on and work back with my uncle because I feel a lot more comfortable. I want to get it straight. People be telling him, oh, your dad is... Uh, too strict, your dad too this, your dad too that. Why do you think you got to be pound for pound? Best in the world. Somebody taught him how to do that, and that somebody was me. Uh, beforehand, it was, it was just like I was in like a boot camp. Now I feel a lot more comfortable because I get a chance, to, even though I'm training, I get a chance to still live my life. When he off the ring, that's his business. When he come here, then I'm controlling him. Floyd Sr. was the coach who favored defense while his uncle Roger was the one who favored offense. It ain't about being aggressive right now. He got to fight a smart defensive fight. You don't win fights being defensive. You win, you win fight by punches landing. 
and it was Floyd's chance to show off his offense against Emmanuel Augustus, who was well known for his awkward fighting style. Floyd Mayweather Jr. showing off his fireworks here in the second round. What makes him a world-class fighter? Burton in the corner. Burton quickly escapes, but Mayweather connects. Despite Floyd's amazing attack, it seemed that Floyd was taking a few more punches than usual with Augustus managing to draw blood from Floyd. You're right, Kevin. Floyd Mayweather definitely cut from his nose. Or the right hand. But he better be very careful because, like I said, what he Mayweather does from time to time, he leaves that chin here like he just did and just got counted. And he switches back now with conventional stance. Now, of course, it was a puncher. Of course, when you're throwing the punch, a man has to react to the punches you're throwing. And, oh, this man is very fast. And trainer Nelson Lopez ends it. Throws in the towel. What are your plans as far as the future goes? How close? I'm getting ready to fight Diego Corrales. And, um, you know, next summer. And, uh, you know, two young champions like me and Diego Corrales should come together and make an explosion. And hopefully I can unify the titles. Like I said before in the, in the meeting, I'm looking forward to fighting Joe Casamayor. I'm looking forward to fighting Diego Corrales. I want to fight the best they got out there. But, you know, I got to fight guys like this to make me prepare for guys like those. What would you have liked to see Floyd do? I think what the fans like about Lil Floyd is how he is now. It was an exciting fight, and that's what the fans and the people want. But the main thing is Floyd Mayweather still won the fight. They finally got a chance to see Pretty Boy bleed profusely from the nose. Tell me out of the 10 11 fights he fought, from, uh, fought with his father, where was any blood? Where was any not? Sometime soon he should be fighting for Oscar De La Hoya or Roy Jones' money. Money is the byproduct of things that fighters can't control. Will Floyd have the patience to maximize his enormous talents? Well, he'll have to have the patience, Jim. This is not something that's going to just jump in his lap. he have to be there to prove himself over and over and over again before people will really take a liking to him so that he can have those type of days. Also, he has to have an opponent to make those type of dollars with. As you, you don't so have well a guy, know. That's right. If you don't have a guy who, is, who the public can see as your equal, then you just about can forget it. In 2001, Floyd got the elite opponent he was looking for in the figure of undefeated Diego Corrales. Many believed that the height advantage and physical threat would pose a major problem for Floyd and this was exactly the type of fight needed if Floyd was to draw new fans. When I go into this fight, I know I'm going to be feeling good. I'm going to go out there and put on a superb show. I'm sure that, you know, flamboyant Floyd. I went nowhere. I'm still flashing. I'm still doing my thing. My commands at all times. Shake hands, good luck. This is quicker and slicker against bigger and stronger. Mayweather has to try to discourage his relentless aggression in these early rounds. A half dozen pounds since weighing in. Big body in the head is a bigger target. Floyd planned on chopping down the tree, not with force, but with strategy. Floyd was intent on consistently throwing left handed attacks but he would suddenly switch the angle of his left hand so that Diego was unsure where Floyd was aiming it. But he wants to engage May with big shot. Good little poke with the left by May. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep your hand up good. Seventh, eighth, ninth round. He's ready to go. All right. Now Get his confidence going. Mayweather was settling nicely into the fight whilst Diego was struggling to reach the target. But wait because he has to collect his breathing first. And that's what happened with an angry right hand of his own. As the middle rounds went by, there was a clear difference and Floyd was beginning to put a beating on one of the division's best. Keep doing this. Ten round, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go, we'll This was proven to be a career best performance by Floyd and after the midpoint, Floyd put Diego Corrales on the deck for the first time in his career. Well there's a brilliant start to round seven. I'm just not sure how many of us expected it to be this dramatic and this graphic. It's not used to jail all night. And the second knockdown of the round for Mayweather. The three knockdown rule in the round. The third knockdown of the round. Oh. Of the round. 
it's his quickness level that puts him into a different dimension. Throw it. Another little left hook. Salmon! On the two good shots. Right hand, another mark of what a performance it's been. Ray Woods is up on the apron. That's going to be the end of the fight. And Corrales goes over and nearly accosts his dad. Is holding Pico Morales to try to keep him away from his own corner man. Because this is pretty boy Floyd. I want to show the world that I'm the best out there, pound pound. I'm the best 130 pounder. So you know, he said he's the best. I say I'm the best. So we come together and see who's the best. Are you determined to stay at 130 where there are other high-profile fighters? Well, you know, I want. I would like. I would like to fight Prince Nassim. Hopefully, we can meet at 128. Prince Nassim isn't going to fight you. Well, everybody everybody want to see After that fight. he saw this, you know, really it ain't going to happen. You know, I really want to fight Prince Nassim, <laughs> but I know you don't, don't want to fight. But I hope y'all can fight the winner, Cassie Mayo, and free test. Despite his fantastic fighting. There was one slight issue that threatened to hinder his performances, brittle hands. After one of his fights, Mayweather revealed the shocking extent to which his hands were susceptible to injuries. You know, I hurt my left hand, and later, later on in the fight I hurt my right hand. So I had to try to win the best way I know how. I All right. my legs, box and move. He was tough, but I think if I had both of my hands, I could have, you know, eventually right, boxed and got him out let, of there. And, and, and eventually you went down just, it seemed, to get a break. See the, there's no bone right here, see? Right. Right over here you can see there's no knuckle. There's no knuckle right here. Right right here. There's no knuckle right here. And I got this, this thing, keep coming, a big knock coming right here on the, on the left. Does this mean basically you have to be a boxer and let the knockout just come when it comes? That's why in a lot of fights you see me boxing this move because my hands is hurting. But my hands never hurt me like they hurt me tonight. You got the win. Congratulations again, champ. I'm the best fighter in the world, pound for pound, hands down. I mean, against top eight competition, I dominated him, as you can see. When I fight Janelle Hernandez, stopped him. Angel Man Freddy stopped him. Justin Juco stopped him. Diego Corrales stopped him. Angel Man Freddy stopped him. So all these guys is um, top guys, and I stopped them in their tracks. Blatant, dead in their tracks. Anything can happen in the sport of boxing, but right now I just don't think no guy can beat me. After failing to secure fights with the big names in the division, Floyd decided to move up in weight to contest for the WBC lightweight title against the Mexican Jose Luis Castillo. Castillo had been Julio Cesar Chavez's sparring partner for five years and of course Floyd had sparred with the guys who had both stunned Chavez in their fights, Pernell Whitaker and Frankie Randall. In an interesting mirror of a decade before, it would be the hyper-aggressive style of Mexico against the defensive style of the slick African-Americans yet again. I got some good sparring partners, you know, water ways, middle ways, and this is what I need to get me ready for my big showdown. He ain't got no great skill. He's just tough. When I say tough, he's just tough. I mean, he's taking an ass with Floyd Mayweather is accustomed to entering the ring second tonight as the challenger for Castillo's title. He reverses that pattern and enters the ring first. There are only a few thousand people here to see a fighter regarded as one of the best in the world, moving up in weight to fight the biggest, strongest fighter he's ever fought. He blames this on his promoter, Bob Arum. He's feuding with Arum again. He was a sparring partner for the great Chavez for five years. He knows his way around the ring. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! And others, the only question here tonight is whether that nine-pound advantage that Castillo has will be meaningful. Times en route to the TKO victory. Floyd Jr. Is In the early rounds, Mayweather started much quicker than Castillo did, scoring quick short combos and moving right out of the way. Against the ropes. And now pops a right hand upstairs as Mayweather is back against the ropes. He says, look, if you throw a beer bottle into the ring, it's good. Now the action begins to heat up just a little bit in round four. Mayweather's getting sharper and sharper. As the middle rounds went by, Castillo was increasingly making the fight a rough affair, and Castillo now was starting to land hard punches. That's what Castillo should be doing, throw to the body. Like all of Mayweather's opponents, he 
you have succeeded to the degree to which Castillo has succeeded so far. Doesn't necessarily mean he's winning the fight. Castillo's best moments were when he had Mayweather on the ropes. Mayweather shouldn't allow himself to be hit in the body. So what you're saying is that Mayweather has gotten into the kind of fight where Castillo's nine-pound weight advantage. Right now, hold him. He changed up now as Castillo begins to go upstairs. Oh, oh, hard right hand by Castillo. Castillo was growing more and more into the fight, and it was now becoming a back-and-forth contest. Chavez, as Castillo's body shots slow Mayweather down. Castillo slow up a little bit. That Coolidge removes a point. I say break, you don't throw the right foot. You're supposed to do it. Watch it, calm it down now. Calm it down. Boom. What do you mean, calm it down? It's a fight. You could jump on him. That's smart. Three rounds of drama. Oh. Right hand over the top by Castillo. Misses with the left uppercut. Goes to the body. Mayweather flicking in. Walking right into Mayweather's hook. Mayweather's got an excellent left hook. Just can't walk into it. You got to bob and weave before you go there. And sorry about pushing on. Mayweather takes a series of big shots. Castillo's walking right into Mayweather's hook. His right hand. Watch that elbow. Let's go. Watch. So there goes the point deduction advantage. In the championship rounds, Mayweather began to fight more flat-footed and traded with Castillo. And Floyd hasn't used his feet effectively. I think that's that the first shot. He that's, loves that. That's to his credit. He loves it, Mayweather does. Yeah, that's to his credit. He knows what he has to do, and he's trying to do it right here. Brilliant flurry. Castillo, this is instigated by Mayweather. Absolutely, and there's a brilliant left-right combination there. And another, and Floyd Mayweather suddenly giving as good as he's getting. Yes, and as Castillo leans on him and leans on him, you wonder if Floyd, body shots by Castillo. Tough round to score. Flurries by Brother, who could box and move. Now he is standing and delivering and taking. Good body punches by Castillo. 27-0 coming into today. Regarded himself as one of the very top pound for pound fighters in the world. Did he bite off more than he could do? Did he underestimate the difficulty of moving up in weight? Who will the judges choose in this rousing battle in Las Vegas? It was a 50-50 fight, but how did the judges see it? For the winner by unanimous decision and new lightweight champion of the world. Not the fight. We saw, you know, and break him down. So I wasn't even worried at all. I, I was out boxing him easy. Well, you gotta realize, I beat this guy with a messed up arm. My arm is messed up. But I, I don't have no excuse. I don't ever back down to turn off fights. I'll but it, so it was a harder fight than you anticipated with what you came into the with ring one, with. with. With one arm, yes. One arm, yes. If you want to rematch, we can do it again. Just days before the fight with Castillo, Mayweather injured his shoulder in training, but he didn't want to risk losing the opportunity by canceling the fight. Close to the back, when I hit the back, my arm, I was too close. Threw a punch like this and my arm bent back like this, which, uh, you know, tore the, uh, the, the, the rotator cuff. My arm was killing me. It was hurting so bad. It was like one of the worst feelings I ever had. I come to his house early Saturday morning, the day of the fight. And I come into his room, and all I could smell was a bunch of being gay. And I'm saying to myself, we're getting ready to fight a major fight. What the hell is going on? I didn't want to let nobody know. And, I'm, and I said, yo, I'm going to fight because this, this opportunity may never come again in life. Castillo had earned his rematch, which would take place at the end of 2002. And this time, Mayweather was fully healthy. Mayweather's reputation as an untouchable virtuoso 
It was cracked, if not shattered, in the first fight. Can he mend those cracks tonight? Mayweather, for his part, claims that his performance in the first fight was adversely affected by a shoulder he injured in training and by two broken ribs. He says he's in 100% physical shape for this bout tonight. And Castillo catches him and pins him in the ropes toward the end of the round. Castillo had vowed to make a quicker start this time around, and his aim was to draw Mayweather into another brawl. And Mayweather's aim was to stay out of range from Castillo, but could he keep it up for the whole fight? So far, unable to cut off the ring against the niftier footwork of Floyd Mayweather Jr. Let's reel to the corner. You, you gotta throw combinations. Come on, you gotta paint him. We gotta work. I'm doing try, trying. This has become a fight of one punch and get out of there for Mayweather. Later in the round, we see that Castillo lands one punch, and once again, Mayweather is out of there. Again, in the center of the ring, far from the ropes like this, Floyd Mayweather has big advantage. Well, he's the referee you've often called the best in the world. Good left hooks to the body. He said that hitting on that white belt for both fighters. Rounds for Mayweather, as Harold has tonight. And all three ringside judges gave the next call. Uh, right ear, left ear. And let me tell you, that could bring on some damage for Castillo if this fight And at times, inevitably, Castillo tested Mayweather's chin and defense. Castillo had a chance to follow up with the right, didn't do it. Out shot. Castillo's got to keep that up. The crowd favorite is... Clean left hook by Mayweather. Castillo's left hand. It's Mayweather with momentum now. Castillo seems discouraged. Not going forward, not mounting an attack at this point. Mayweather holding on. Castillo's corner wondering why didn't he do this three rounds ago. Mayweather smiling and juking as they come down the stretch. Mayweather had put on a much improved display and it seemed that he had earned a victory that was much more clear this time around. I had seven to five for Mayweather. I'm wondering how far we might be off this time. And still, WBC lightweight champion of the world, pretty boy Floyd. You know, a tough opponent, and um, that's what I was looking for, a tough fight, a good, exciting fight, and that's what he brought tonight. But like I said, I'm looking forward to the to the bigger paydays, to the bigger fighters out there. Like I said before, I'm the black sheep of boxing. I'm fighting against the odds. But you know, with, you know, with, with prayers and God behind me, can't nothing stop me. What odds are you talking about? I'm saying, you know, I feel like everybody is against Floyd Mayweather, but you gotta get respect what respect is due. I'm one of the best out there, powerful power, and I prove myself over and over again. Floyd Mayweather's not ducking or dodging any opponent out there. I'm willing to fight whoever, whenever. Mayweather had overcome one of the biggest challenges of his career and was now a two-weight world champion. But could he fight the big names and earn the stardom he was desperately looking for? Floyd Mayweather was now on a mission and his goal was to attain stardom. I don't recall a fighter as talented as him who has made less of an impact. He was dominating everyone put in front of him, but he wanted the mega fights against big names and few fighters wanted to take the risk. Well, these guys, they say they want to fight, but then they don't ever want to fight. They've been there for the longest. Yeah, well, man. that has to do Floyd Mayweather is willing to fight any fighter from 154 on down. You bring him and I'll take him. You can mark my word to that. And will that crowd appeal come for Floyd if he continues to win his fights? It's conceivable if he fights more big fights and fights this way. Uh, never going to reach the plateau of a De La Hoya. That's a rare plateau. I want to fight the best they got out there. I would love to fight Constance Zhu, Arturo Gotti, the best out there. And I hear that Shane Mosley is coming down to 147. I hear Oscar De La Hoya is coming down to 147. From Floyd Mayweather's willing to go to 147 and fight Shane Mosley or fight Oscar De La Hoya. And after Roy Jones Jr. was brutally dethroned by Antonio Tava in 2004, it was Floyd who was now being upgraded from Prince to king of the pound for pound rankings. I feel, I feel so, but I think he has all the ammunition. I really do. I've never seen a guy that like punch so far from Big Roy Jones, but I honestly feel that he's the real deal. Still, he has not been able.
to turn that into box office appeal. He has never been able to capitalize on his magic in the ring. Floyd blamed his promoter Bob Arum of Top Rank for failing to take him to stardom, but Arum felt that Mayweather just needed more patience. He looks at an Oscar who may make $20 million for a fight uh, and says, why am I only making $3 million? Floyd has to realize his time will come. Why wouldn't you want to clean that up <laughs> before you moved up in weight. Well, I actually fight these guys in the past. I've been trying to get uh, Lascano, Casamayor, Freitas in the past. These guys didn't want to fight me, so I'm finna move, move up to bigger and better things. I'm looking forward to fighting Arturo Gatti next. That's a big pay-per-view fight for me. Arturo Funda Gatti was a fan favorite and was most famous for being in wars, including his historic trilogy with Mickey Ward. It was Gatti who signed to give Mayweather his first pay-per-view appearance in 2005, despite many feeling that Gatti was taking an unnecessary risk. Why risk all that by fighting Pretty Boy Floyd? Because it still makes dollars and cents. Gatti, being Gatti, wanted to test himself against one of the best. His handlers, being handlers, didn't want that fight. It was around this time when Floyd began to unleash his controversial persona, flamboyant Floyd, on the big stage, and he believed that this persona could entice casual fans to take more notice of him. When Floyd was an amateur, he talked about how he wanted to be the bad guy. I said, you could be Sugar Ray Leonard. He said, I don't want to be Sugar Ray Leonard. He said, I want to be the bad guy. People will pay to see the bad guy. At this point, it's no, it's no, longer, it's no longer pretty boy Floyd. Oh, we got a new name, we call it Flamboyant Floyd Mayweather. You know, because we're gonna bring, we're gonna, we're gonna take this game to another level and take this, this whole boxing game to another level. And you know, my, my lifestyle is flashy, so you know. Are you ready? Who ready? Because I'm ready. Ooh, I'm so good, I can fight. Floyd knew that being boastful would entice new fans to take notice. I'm the best. Can't nobody stop me. I'm the best fighter in the world. The best fighter ever put on a pair of gloves. I couldn't even tell you who's rated number two behind me, pound for pound. Because when you at the top, you ain't trying to look back. I like to rock diamonds. I like a lot of cars. No, I live in a big house. I got shoes for days. To me, Floyd's a sad case. I mean, this is a guy who really could be the guy now. Good looking guy, articulate, all the skills, speed, a great story. But instead, it really turned people off. Well, he's the master of bling bling. He's got all the rings and all the jewelry and, and the nice cars. And I mean, that's his thing. Yeah, I got a lot of money. I got millions. I like to party, enjoy life. You know, I like the, the fighter things. I'm flashy. I like expensive clothes. They see when I pull up, they see them Bentleys, they see them Ferraris, they see that ice. They know how I am. They don't like me, they know I'm cocky. But Floyd's lifestyle almost cost him the fight, as a legal issue threatened to delay the fight, and the risk was that Gatti would pull out and fight someone else instead. It's, it's so many club cases, it's crazy. He was accused in Grand Rapids of participating in a bar fight and kicking somebody in the head. I'm upset, mad as hell, because I pleaded a no contest to something I know I, I didn't do. That's his story, that the reason why he, he pled was because he wanted to fight. He knew if he tried to take it to trial and prove his innocence, uh, then you know he, that would jeopardize the fight because Gotti has a leverage because he knows he can sell 12,000 tickets. He really does not like Arturo Gotti, and he thinks Arturo Gotti put him through the ringer. I think he wants to make him pay because of that. Floyd was so eager, he agreed to fight in Gotti's hometown. He was a real fighter. He would have wanted this fight on mutual grounds. But I'm, I ain't the type to cry. I ain't the type to complain. It's not going to be a happy place for him. He's not going to Disneyland. You know, he's going to hell. It didn't bother Floyd, who felt that Gatti was not on his level and he wasn't afraid to let the world know. I'm going to expose him because this guy is getting free money. This guy's getting free money. He's fighting nobody. He's fighting bums. Floyd Mayweather has won his fights doing one thing, 
fighting the Mayweather style. Tucking the chin and hand speed. Good. Not knocking him for that. But what happens when he has to change and do something different? The mix ain't gonna help you. Your friends can't help you. His uncle can't help him. Can't nobody help him. Everywhere I go in this place, in this room, I can see Mayweather. Cause that's, I can't wait to the 25th. I would like to make this fight go 12 rounds and beat the living shit out of him. He deserves a good spanking. He's a little boy, he forgets about that. I just wanna punish him. I really wanna hurt him. I'm a true champion, I'm willing to go to his turf in Atlantic City, I'm gonna step on him. I'm gonna crush him. Y'all can mark my word to this, I'm gonna crush him. He's a C-plus fighter, I'm an A-plus fighter. Come Saturday night next week, all the fans tune in because I'm gonna dominate. The fans in Atlantic City can't get in there and fight for him. I'm gonna dominate, I'm gonna dog this fighter. Right down to Floyd's ring walk, Floyd turned his first pay-per-view experience into an entertaining spectacle. Floyd Mayweather, in a way, loves to be hated. With another one bites the dust, the worst music you could possibly find to antagonize him. Thirty-nine pounds, professional record, a perfect one, He's including thirty knockouts with six defeats and two world titles. It's great to want to be great. Floyd Mayweather believes he is. Gaddy wants to find out if he is. Floyd pounced on the opportunity instantly. To land something solid early to make the point to Floyd. And Floyd hits a two on the left hit on the break, and now there's a knockdown in round one. Can you see Floyd jump in with a hook? Uh, got it, got low, his hands on, got his neck. He hit him first of all while he was down. Referee comes like he's gonna come in. He's waiting for the referee to say something about him, hit him while he's down like that. And Floyd hits him with another hook. I What's can't up? blame Mayweather. He took advantage of the Gaddy. To my view, Roy, hasn't landed a single body punch. That's a very bad sign. And that's what Buddy just told him. You're not going to the bottom. And that's because he's a fan game. Getting brutal in there as Mayweather fires up with. You see Floyd land a straight right hand, left jab, another straight right hand, another left jab, another straight right hand, just, just did miss, giving Gotti fans a chance to see something what they came to see. Straight right hand by Mayweather, twists Gotti's head around. No. And at this rate, the question is, how long will Arturo be able to see Mayweather's punches? Too much hands, but oh, by the shot. By the shot, hurt more than Arturo. Buddy McGirt keeps telling Gaddy not to worry. This is humiliating. Mayweather promised exactly this. He promised he would humiliate Arturo Gaddy before his fans. Very difficult to watch. After six rounds of torture, the fight was stopped. Virtuoso victory performance. Now here's the problem. Who in the world will fight him? I'm glad that he just gave me the opportunity. He was tough. You know, I, I boxed, stuck to the game plan, and got the victory. But he, he's still tough. He still can become world champion again. You said before the fight, he's a paper champion. Why do you want that paper championship? I, I never said it. And that's all, that's all about Tyler Taker. We just talk. That's what fighters do. Arturo Gotti is, is Thunder Gotti. This is his hometown. I just appreciate the fans in Atlantic City for letting me come here and fight. So you're going to raise that paper championship high? Extremely high. I'm, and I'm just looking forward to giving fans more fights like this on pay-per-view. Thank you. How can you keep him off the top of the pound for pound list? And who's going to fight him? There's no way to really keep him off the top of that list. I mean, he truly is the best fighter out there right now. There are people that always want to fight the best because you got to beat the best in order to beat the best. So if guys want to be the best, they got to see Floyd. Floyd was now at the top of the game, and perhaps better for him, he was now fighting in a new era of top fighters who would want to fight him so they could get to the top. There were fighters like Miguel Cotto on the rise, Ricky Hatton, who beat Costa Zoo, but it was Zab Judah who got the call up. 
So the two would fight for the IBF welterweight championship in 2006. But because Zab had just lost his WBC welterweight title in a close split decision against Carlos Baldemir, there were some who weren't happy with the matchup. I'm the best out there in the boxing game, and you know it. And now, if it's I a, tell if you what, Floyd, if, you're if, not the champ at 140. I know that. I don't uh, have to be a professional fighter to, to know that. You're not. And if you win this fight, you're uh, not the champ at 147. He just lost in the ring to Carlos Baldemir. The guy couldn't afford the sanctioning fees for all three belts. How could you possibly think that? We tried to get the fight with Baldemir, and he bit himself out. You know I would have loved that fight. You know what? You don't I know, know who Brian the champ Kennedy. is. Hey, you who have beat Costa Zoo? Who beat Costa Zoo? Let me ask you the question. You, hey, would you, fight, would you fight Ricky Hatton in Vegas if the split wasn't in your favor? I would fight Ricky Hatton anywhere. I'll fight Ricky Hatton in your backyard. But even if I'm the, the split, but if the split wasn't in your favor, would you say, "All right, he priced himself out," or would you it's take always, it to say, "I got to fight is for Junior Walter Tyler"? Favor. Give me my props where the props is deserved. Give me the number one guy. If number one guy don't want to well, fight, I go to number what, two. What, what, don't Rick, fight. what about Ricky we had Hatton? To fight Baltimore. What about Ricky Hatton, the I champion asked of Junior Walter? I asked to go over to England and fight Ricky Hatton. His dad said his son is not ready for me yet. Let I me never, I never ducked to dodge no opponents. Whoever they put in front of me, I have beat. Because like I said before, this is the biggest fight of my career. This is a stepping stone. I'm trying to go to that, uh, to that next level. For the other so-called best, oh, he is, well, bring, him, bring him to me. And I can prove you wrong. Mayweather has a, a, a ton of respect for me. You know what I'm saying? Usually, Mayweather gets in press conferences and he, and he puts his hand in God's face. He talked junk to them. He called them all kind of names. But today, we didn't see that Mayweather. My hands, is, my hands are just as fast as Mayweather's. You know what I'm saying? And I hit twice as hard as him. But the question is, how's Mayweather going to be able to hold me back? I'm fighting to win. The, I'm fighting to become four-time world champion in four different weight class. And I'm also fighting to keep my pound for pound ranking. But, uh, but I'm going to take an unbelievable effort by Zap Jr. to get him. Keep the punches up. The first few rounds saw a display of strategic genius between the two, with Zab slightly edging Mayweather out. Tangling up here. Well, you can get a knee tweaked on something like that. Stop it. If you believe that claim, that's up to you that the Judas haven't been anywhere this week. Slip. Get that up to 6-1. to one. So probably the majority of the people in this house have a couple dollars on Mayweather. Left hand from Judah. Nice counter left by Judah. He does open up. Mayweather will be there to counter. Nice left Big hand. Big left hand. Probably the best shot Mayweather's taken in quite some time. From round five onwards, the tide turned and Mayweather was firmly in control of the fight. For the first time in the Another right hand and a left hook. Judah's getting hit here. Listen. Keep walking to the muscle, like I told you. Don't stop walking. You had his ass then. Some fight, fights where, where Zab tend to do caught Mayweather on the end of that right hand. No effect. First three or four rounds of this fight. He's getting one upside the head. Now he sticks out his tongue. Right hand. He might want to consider getting out. I really do. But when they worked on him in the corner. In a moment of frustration, Zab Judah fought dirty and all hell broke loose in the ring. That was coming the, gra the great equalizer, Alan. The great equalizer. That was an extremely low shot. Eight on his left leg. Roger Mayweather and Yoel Judah in the ring. A fight breaking out between the trainers. This is a horrible sight, Alan. The madness led to his angry uncle, Roger, being removed from the ring and Floyd would be without his trainer for the remainder of the fight. I'm going under the table. We've got beer being thrown around the arena. It's complete mayhem in there. Floyd himself had kept his cool, and after the mayhem subsided, the bout continued just where it left off. A couple times. To the map. I would stop it. Yeah, listen. Just looking for a way out, but don't worry about that. Go back to doing what you're doing. I saw two or three. I saw two or three different Judas in the ring today. Good point. And I think there are Just two. For the story, Floyd did a good job here. Excellent performance by Floyd Mayweather. Virtuoso. Mayweather. Soon after winning his fourth divisional title, his career would be changed forever. After years of being frustrated with his promoter Bob Arum, 
Mayweather decided to leave top rank so that he could form his own promotional company and be his own boss. What happened with me, I could have fought with you a long time ago, but I had a promoter that didn't believe in me. They had me playing the background. And their whole focus was Oscar De La Hoya. He was the cash cow. You know, I never cried and complained. What I did is said, now I continue to beat these fights. Eventually, the world will see, and eventually I'll be a household man. And I said, you know what? We need to, you know, I need to be promoted in different areas. He will only promote you in the Hispanic communities. And I said, me, myself, I want to be promoted everywhere. Not too familiar with the African-American market, which Floyd wanted to be in the African-American market, mm -hmm. promoting to an Hispanic market with him. Oscar was the pay-per-view star. But that never happened. So one day I went to him, I went and got a cashier's check from one of my accounts. I think it was like 750,000. So it took, it took time. But then uh, once I got away from the promoter, once I got away from top rank, um, a company that I'm, I'm, that was the best thing in my career to get away from top rank. When I got free and became my own boss, I done things my way. We formed Mayweather Promotions and that was the best move he could have ever made. In his next fight, Floyd decided to take on Carlos Baldemir, who had beaten Zab Judah and previously destroyed Arturo Gatti. Baldemir had been unbeaten for eight years and if Floyd could beat him, he would become the unified world champion, silencing the critics who felt that Floyd had to beat the guy who many considered to be the legitimate champion if he wanted recognition as a four-weight world champion. And the fight would be without his uncle Roger Mayweather, as Roger was serving a short-term prison sentence. Get off the ropes, keep fainting, and keep checking them. That's all you have to do. Baldemir was no match for Floyd's skills, and Mayweather put on a perfect purist performance. But after hurting his hand in the fight, Floyd failed to deliver the action that critics were looking for. Because of Mayweather's great right hand. I don't see anybody roaring, but where's the drama? And Mayweather grinned at A mixed response from the crowd after a whitewash domination of Baldemir by Mayweather. I threw it, I hurt my, uh, my right hand, um, you know, probably in the sixth round. I pulled through it, you know, my team rooted me on, my fans rooted me on, and I just went out there and put on a, actually a boxing clinic. But booing, there were people leaving after the 10th and 11th round. I want your response. Well, you know, never give me the credit I really deserve. I mean, you, you're good at commentating, so stick to commentating. It's, it's more like this. Don't, don't always be a critic and be so negative. Let's be positive. I'm the best. I'll be fighters under any circumstances. I can pull it through it. Do Larry you? Merchant is just a commentator. He don't know nothing about boxing. Do you, do you still, are you looking forward to fighting Oscar De La Hoya? Do you think this fight will get him into the ring with you? Well, uh, well absolutely. Uh, if Oscar, Oscar De La Hoya said that he wants the best, he want to leave off fighting the best, bring it on, not tax that ass too. Thank you very much. Heading into 2007, Mayweather was on the cusp of securing a mega fight and the dance partner he wanted to tango with was the living legend Oscar De La Hoya. He's won a lot of, um, a lot of champion. He won a lot of championships. I won a lot of championships. Um, so if he want to go out on top, you know, this is a fight that I, I, I truly believe should happen. The reigning, defending, two-time super welterweight champion of the world, the Golden Boy, Oscar. De La Hoya had been the most popular fighter of the last decade. He was boxing's first six-weight world champion, having won titles from lightweight to middleweight 10 times. With a record of 38 and 4, he had taken on every top fighter in his generation. He had fought Julio Cesar Chavez, Pernell Whitaker, Shane Mosley, Bernard Hopkins, Felix Trinidad, and the list went on. So much for the notion that De La Hoya didn't have the power to knock my organ down. But beating Mayweather would be the biggest triumph of his illustrious career, and Mayweather on the other hand was chasing his fifth divisional title nine years after winning his first one. And interestingly, 
Mayweather Sr. had been training Oscar for the last six years and had struck a magical partnership that rejuvenated the career of the Golden Boy. Look, man, you can knock this son of a bitch out right now. My best trainer I've ever had was Floyd Sr. I was my old self, you know, when, when the first bell rang, it's like the instincts kick in. He inspired me, he, uh, he gave me motivation. Uh, he would yell at me, I mean, but that's what I needed. I mean, I was already established. The trainer that he is, what he's teaching me, um, no other trainer can do it. I mean, my physical is, is much stronger. Um, I can last more rounds. I, I will not, I guarantee you, I will not fade away in the last round because of my physical conditioning that Mayweather has given me. And it seemed as if we may see father versus son. Now, if your daddy's training Oscar and you challenge Oscar, Hey, he threw a challenge out there at me too. But with Mayweather Sr. requesting two million for the fight and Oscar questioning his killer instinct, Oscar opted against hiring Floyd Sr. Oscar decided to hire Freddie Roach instead, who was a more offensive-minded coach. It's his son who I'm fighting and if he was training me, I wouldn't have that, that same passion uh, um, you know, from him. We know this guy is his main asset is speed, but we're gonna kind of set traps to this guy. Your boxing ability, he's never seen anyone like you before. He hasn't faced an opponent like you ever in his life. Oscar felt that he could defeat Floyd with the skills that Floyd's father had taught him, but Floyd was not bothered with what Oscar may have learnt from his father. <laughs> If he was so crazy about my daddy, and my daddy taught him so much, why he get so cheap when it comes become when it when it came to his biggest fight? If, if my dad was in this corner, my dad couldn't tell him how to beat me because my dad never seen me take an L before. So how can you tell somebody how to beat somebody who haven't took a loss before? Another interesting storyline between the fighters was that De La Hoya had been the focus of Bob Arum whilst the two were fighting for top rank and he was the reason why Floyd never got the attention he wanted at the company. But this would be the first mega fight in which both fighters were their own bosses as Oscar was now promoting himself too under the banner of Golden Boy Promotions. However, Mayweather allowed De La Hoya to call all the shots knowing that this fight would be the biggest of his career. I mean, to, to get this guy to sign a contract, we have, we have to go through hell. Of course, anything just to get this guy to sign the contract and make the fight happen, let's do it, and we've done it. Well, I agreed to everything Oscar De La Hoya wanted. Mm -hmm. Everything. Because he's the A-side, and I had to respect it. He chose the weight. Mm -hmm. He chose the gloves, he chose the arena, basically he chose everything. He chose the judges, he chose the referee, and my job was to show up, do what I have to do, so I can become the A-side and call those same shots that Oscar De La Hoy called when we faced each other. And after the fight was officially announced, one of the best promotional tours in boxing history had begun and Mayweather was relentless with his trash talking, looking to frustrate De La Hoya on the big stage. We got, we got, we got champions galore here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, think he's, I think Oscar's a hell of a fighter. He knows he's a good fighter, and he's been in there with a, a lot of, a lot of a hell of a fighters, but I mean, he's never been in there with a guy like a pretty boy Floyd. You know, I'm the top dog, I'm the honcho. 37 have failed, and then you can mark my word to this. And if he, if he believe in himself, like I believe in myself, I bet all my money that I got in my bank account and on this fight that he won't win. I'll tell you one thing. Your I, I mean, the reason why I'm letting him talk is because the motivation is just... Yeah, you... Yeah, wait, 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 wait. I, I think I stained your shoes up. Uh, motivation's <laughs> oozing out of it. Don't, it don't matter. It don't matter. You, you, it's on. you know, that's what I make him do. I make him, I'm going to bust that ass. You know it. You know, you know what it is. I don't say nothing. You put him in front of me and I'll beat him. I'm the top dog in the sport. That's why I'm facing I lay back in the cut be easy. Once, once I got his name on that contract, that's all I had. Then I can get loose. Like I really want to get loose. Hi, my name is Oscar De La Hoya. I'm going to do this. I'm going to You ain't going to do shit. Believe me, come May 5th, you ain't going to do shit. give you something to cry about. You ain't going to do nothing. Sit down. Sit, sit down. Oscar, sign it. Come on, Oscar. Let me let him sign it. Let me let him sign it for you. Mm. I'm going to make it a rough and tough fight come May 5th. I'm so scared. 
Can we get a stare down, please? You ain't tough. You ain't tough. Stop you it. You ain't tough. You don't scare me, man. I'm a beast, man. I'm the dog. I'm the top dog in this it looked like you were trying to make him a little uncomfortable, though. You're getting right up in his face. How much of this is selling, and how much is it? No, I'm going to make this guy uncomfortable. I'm going to make uh, both. Both. We got to sell this fight, and I'm going to make this guy uncomfortable. May 5th, by the fight, pay-per-view. Pretty Boy Floyd versus the Golden Boy, Oscar De La Hoy. The world awaits. I um, mean, it's, it's going to be a pay-per-view extravaganza, so by the fight. This fight marked a major turning point in the marketing of fights. HBO televised a new reality TV show called 24-7 that detailed the training camps and personalities of each fighter, and perhaps unsurprisingly, due to Mayweather's desire for fame, the idea had come from Mayweather's team. Come on up here, Oscar. Bring Oscar up here. There you go. The show allowed Mayweather to take his trash-talking antics to new heights. He's the villain in rap music, I'm the villain in boxing. I tell him like this, I'm at the top. When, I, when I'm at the top, I ain't trying to look at who's behind me. I'm leading the way. You talk about 24-7, he born, extremely born. Who the, who the f wanna hear about some cappuccino? Who the f wanna hear about some fucking dogs? They wanna see controversy, this is America. This is my job. There's no pressure on me, I know what I gotta go out there and do. I know, what, I know what it takes, I'm not even one. I'm getting that cash! I'm whooping it. And that boy, he living that flash. And it was in this show that Mayweather iconically revealed his new brand, Money Mayweather. It was perfect. Mayweather knew that every culture in the world could relate to money, whether they would love him or hate him for it. His antics would entice casual fans into watching the fight even if it was just to see him lose. It's Floyd, my name is Floyd, my name is Floyd, my name is Money Mayweather. America is built on two things, controversy and money. It's not a black thing, it's not a white thing, it's a green thing. 2050, like 64,000. <laughs> Every punch I throw. I'm gonna beat you. Every round I go. You will never be able to beat me. Just thinking about Mayweather. It's a good guy, bad guy fight, you know? And we know who the bad guy is. And we know who the good guy is. Floyd has no problem with accepting and embracing the villain role. Because at the end of the day, but he's also the banker. Right now, people that's at home say, I'm gonna pay to see that kid get his kid. Say what you wanna say about me. He know he gonna get beat. It's just how he gonna get beat. That's what he better worry about. You wanna talk your trash? We'll see. You've watched the show. I mean, has he gotten under your skin at all at this point? Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's all about, you know, making sure your opponent gets under your skin. As long as he doesn't get inside your head, that's uh, you know fine and dandy with me. Made me train hard, and that's what that's what we uh, we wanted. Come May fifth, it's gonna be me and him up in that ring, and uh, you know we'll have to deal with it. So whatever I bring to the table, I have to deal with, and whatever he brings to the table, uh, I'll have to deal with. So it's gonna be uh, pretty interesting to watch. And, and May fifth, you're gonna see the same Floyd Mayweather. I mean, in tremendous shape, 150, 151, looking good, feeling good. Yeah, my team is ready to go, and I'm pretty sure Oscar team is ready to go. The promotion of this fight contributed to what would become the richest fight in boxing history, breaking Livegate records and pay-per-view numbers. The fight generated 18 million at the gate, breaking the record set by Lennox Lewis and Evander Holyfield, and 2.4 million homes purchased the fight on pay-per-view, beating the former record held by Mike Tyson and Lennox Lewis. So after years of climbing the mountain, Mayweather's chance for global respect had come. But how would he perform on the big stage? But De La Hoya has been a welterweight or junior middleweight, even fought at middleweight for 10 years. Mayweather has just fought one legitimate strong welterweight in his last fight. He has donned a Mexican sombrero and will apparently walk to the ring. Well, when Uncle Roger used to do it, it was certainly to taunt the crowd, a role which Floyd has cultivated for himself. In another era in the sport, 
this fight would have taken place in an outdoor stadium with a crowd of 90,000 people. It is a mark of boxing's current economic scene. For the WBC Super Welterweight Championship of the World. A perfect professional record consisting of 37 fights. Pretty boy, Floyd Mayweather. The reigning, defending, super welterweight champion of the world, De La Mayweather lusts after De La Hoya's stardom. De La Hoya lusts after Mayweather's status. Will we get spontaneous combustion? As expected, with Oscar being the bigger guy, Oscar started the fight as the aggressor, trying to muscle Floyd into corners so he could unleash barrages of body punches. Away, he landed a right cross lead, moved away. Right hand across the top for Deloya, excites the crowd, and immediately Deloya begins. I've always said Oscar's key was his jab, he's not using his jab at all. Just trying to walk in and shoot across the top against Floyd Mayweather. There's another straight right hand landing for Deloya. And a jab, and a right hand again, and the crowd goes. With Oscar's aggression, Floyd had to bring out all of his defensive wizardry to make punches miss, and he would slip in single shots when he saw critical windows of opportunity. They landed enough to make the point that he's landing punches while Floyd is well, throwing. He's, he's, he's winning. Box numbers, which slightly favored with his right arm. Uh, 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 now the left hook lands up there. The fight was fairly competitive after the first three rounds. Stop thinking too much, but when he thinks too much, he's playing right into Mayweather's hand. When he lets the punches go, he does very well. Hoping that the weight size and the strength will wear him down as the fight goes on. And again, here at the beginning of round four, we see Mayweather landing the cleaner shots. And that has helped the tire. There are the body shots, and there is a sustained attack to the body like nothing you've seen in Delaware's career. Straight right hand lead for Mayweather. Tremendously effective with that punch. Oscar was pressing the action, but it was Floyd who was landing punches with more accuracy. He's giving me tired. Throwing a lot of punches, but I don't think he's been effective. But right now, the fight is happening, and, and there, it's a very close fight. We don't really know yet. He uses that punch increasingly down the stretch of those fights in which he's comfortable and confident. across the top and puts Deloy on the defensive as soon as they're in the middle of the ring. And Mayweather is trying to knock Oscar out with the right hand. At the halfway point, the action grew as Floyd decided to take a risk and fight at close range. As Vernon Forrest did to Shane Mosley, that's not working as well. So once again, Deloy is short with the right hand, but gets in a left. And again, they're near the ropes. Again, Delaware gets to make the last little statement of good round, round six. Good, good round pass. Good body shot by Mayweather. And he comes, he punches around. He fights in staccato bursts, he likes it that way. Delaware trying to pressure, pressure, pressure. Well, Once again, yeah. Oscar being more active, setting up the assault with the jab. Boy, has stopped using the jab, and Floyd is picking his shots again. No, but, but, he, but, but uh, Delaware is picking them off. Right there. That Heading into the last few rounds, Oscar began to fade and Mayweather began to take control. Mayweather beginning to operate like a surgeon. Ten rounds finished, two rounds to go. Argus, who was tiring that night. But that didn't mean that Oscar had given up. right hand by Deloya, his most effective punch in three rounds. Crowd tries to root Oscar into position. And the younger man appears to be winning the argument. And right up until the end, both fighters gave it their all. That Cinco de Maya is becoming Mayweather. Fighting even after this. And where does Mayweather go from this pinnacle? And they fight to the finish and please the crowd. To the a better fight than a lot of people anticipated. Floyd Mayweather Sr. can be proud of his son and of the fighter he's trained for the last seven years. The fight was competitive, 
but most spectators agreed on the winner. The winner by split decision and new WBC Super Welterweight Champion of the World. It was a hell of a fight. That's what the fans wanted. I told the fans they was going to get a good fight, so we gave them a good fight. That's what you call a masterpiece. You know, he won the best fighters in our era. And I showed you what I could do to one of the best fighters in our era. I'm still retiring after this fight. I proved myself in the sport. Uh, Six-time world champion, five different weight classes. Came into the fight today wearing 148. They said I couldn't do it. And you, you seen a walk away beat a junior middleweight today. After 11 years of fighting, he had his first mega fight win. And he was now ready to walk away from the sport. Or so he claimed. After his victory over Oscar De La Hoya, Mayweather finally attained the fame he was looking for, scoring multiple televised appearances and becoming a household name. I'm Floyd Mayweather and I'm the number one pound for pound best fighter in the world. He threatened to retire but now he was able to command major paydays if he continued to fight and he soon agreed to fight again, even going into training whilst being on the TV show Dancing with the Stars. I can fight a championship fight and I can dance with the stars. This is something that's never been done before in history. Floyd Mayweather and Karina Boom Boom Smirnoff. Floyd was wiggling his way into new audiences, literally, and was doing the promotional work to grow his name that his former bosses failed to do. Back to the business of fighting, Mayweather decided to fight Englishman Ricky Hatton. I think you saw more action in these four rounds than you've shown the value for money in Floyd's whole career. I'll just leave it at that. When, when Hatton made the comment that he made on HBO, Floyd looked to me and said, make the fucking fight happen. Floyd's goal was now to cash in on another mega fight, which was a more attractive option than fighting the smaller name champions. With the support that Ricky received from his hometown of England, this promised to be another pay-per-view extravaganza. And once again, Floyd brought out his controversial side in the build-up, showing an intriguing clash between their personalities. 300,000 on the pinky, 600,000 on the neck. Look at me tailor-made suit, $3,000, who gives a shit? He's a good fighter, everybody knows he's a good fighter, but you don't have to keep telling us. I beat him, I beat him, I beat him. We know Floyd, change the record. You talk, I said what I had to say. Let me see how you gonna shoot to my body. Oh, oh, oh. Now he wanna get behind the camera and talk trash. Man, these boys are easy work, these boys can't beat me. <laughs> Ten years more chance. Probably half the British fans probably feel like they know me, and half, half of them probably do. So Mayweather, goodbye. Nice knowing you, but it's all over now. Hatton's going yeah. to kick your butt. He beats me. He'll have earned it, but he won't. Put your head in, guys. Put him well out. He thinks he just has to turn up to win. Big reality shot. I'm able to counter punch on a move. That's when you get a complete fighter, and that's what I am. I'm a complete fighter. He go bring his A game and get his what what? No, man. This 24 <laughs> 7, you can tell him the truth. He don't get that ass checked, baby. <laughs> Yo, mom can buy the check. Yo, ass. Can't catch. We know he come one way. We know he come straight ahead throwing a hook. That's it. I've got everything to beat Floyd Mayweather, and he's got everything to lead me a merry dance at times. Will he stop me coming? I don't think he will. The fight itself was just as entertaining as the build-up. Floyd surprisingly fought in close range with the British brawler, which many didn't expect, and eventually he knocked Hatton out in 10 rounds. Left hook drops him, his legs are still up there, Floyd knows it. This is the beginning of the end. Hey, you don't let him off. Down he goes, all over! Floyd Mayweather puts the stamp on his greatness. What is your feeling right now about the future? You know, now I need a vacation. I'm not trying to call out no waterways. I've done what I had to do in the sport. I accomplished what I had to accomplish. Now it's time for me to become a promoter. Soon after the fight, 
Mayweather vacated his belts to take a long break whilst he considered retirement, but that didn't stop him from building on the fame of his global brand. Boy, you want publicity? Come take on the big show. I accept. And in his absence, new contenders fought for the space left on the throne. But it was Filipino Manny Pacquiao, a rising great who was storming through boxing's weight divisions, who occupied the seat. Where does the spotlight fall? Right here. This is finishers in the sport. And he too gained global respect when he brutally retired Oscar De La Hoya after eight rounds. And on the day of Pacquiao's next big fight against Ricky Hatton, Mayweather announced that after a year and a half of retirement, he was coming back for his old crown. You know, I'm, I'm the king. I left on top, came back on top. You know, I'm here to fight and reclaim what's mine. Well, tonight, any man can win. It's a gamble, once again. But when you're betting on Floyd Mayweather, that's for sure money. So when you ask me, I tell you, put your money under your mattress and keep it to July 18th. Pacquiao knocked Hatton out in two rounds. Oh, oh my gosh, what a straight knockdown. No way, that is that. What an amazing knockout shot. That is the most spectacular shot of Manny Pacquiao's incredible career. Immediately, it had the world wondering what would happen if these two mega forces were to meet in the ring. truly a blessing. Boxing is something that, that I love to do. And I missed, I, I, can, I can honestly say, I miss the fans. I miss the atmosphere. There's a lot of things that I, I miss, you know, in the sport of boxing. So, you know, I'm back to the sport and I'm back to just uh, I'll be the best that I can be. Back to work. When I retired, uh, my body needed a chance to heal. Just needed a chance to heal. And I think I needed to find myself just personally to, to step back and just find out who you are as a person. And um, boxing still was in me. I kind of knew he was going to come back anyway. He came back because he missed the sport. I know how fighters is. They love that lamp light. Any other athlete that's good or great, they all come back. The welterweight landscape that Mayweather was coming back to was one that was very competitive, with no definitive king amongst the division. That was a knockdown. But after Manny Pacquiao's demolition of Ricky Hatton, many boxing pundits felt that he was the guy to end Mayweather's undefeated record. Mayweather will get punished, and I think he will go down. I think he has got no shot against this guy. That might be a little strong to say no shot, considering that Mayweather's never lost. Mm -hmm. I'll give you right now that Pac-Man just is in his prime, and we don't know what Mayweather we're going to get. We can assume he's just going to come back and be the guy when he, he fights was Marquez. when he fights Marquez, but we don't know that for sure. And I, I'm, I'm Pacquiao's a special guy. Mayweather can't beat at this point. I just, I, I, I don't, I, I, I just no. don't see. However, it was one Manuel Marquez, Pacquiao's nemesis, who called Mayweather out, and Mayweather accepted. Huge uppercut, down goes Diaz, knocked out by a great old fighter. Absolutely. In Marquez's fight with Pacquiao. Pacquiao's knockdowns helped salvage a draw in the first fight and a Pacquiao split decision win in the second. But many fans felt that Marquez had outboxed Pacquiao for the majority of the overall rounds in those fights. And despite Marquez being a free weight champ and the number two ranked pound for pound fighter in the world, this still didn't satisfy all of the critics. He called me out. He's the champ he in your weight out. class. All right, how about Manny Pacquiao? If he wanted, he can get it. 
Have Pacquiao been knocked out twice? Yeah, when he was like 112 I, I don't, I'm not, Yes or no? Yes. Who's beating me? Nobody's beating you yet, That's all Floyd. I want to know. When, when, if Pacquiao's in front of me and it's time to fight Pacquiao, then I'll take care of that also. At this point, Mayweather had fought so hard to be at the top of the mountain. The thing about Floyd Mayweather is I'm an entertainer. Period. Money Mayweather is a character. And when you're a real entertainer, when you're a mega superstar, you can go to other things and blow up and make things happen. And his cocky persona that earned him stardom was the same persona that was now making the boxing world want to see his downfall. But in the 24-7 series before the fight, Mayweather showed that he also did have a humble side. We do what we supposed to do for our American citizens. I don't, I don't know. Anytime, anytime. God bless you. I'm blessed just to be in this position that I can give back and I love to give back. You gotta have your own mind. Be the best at whatever you strive for. Be just be the best. But y'all gotta believe. I can't believe for y'all. And now Floyd was ready to come back and show the boxing world that he was the best. Boxing is what I do. I lace up my boots, I put on my fly shorts, and I fight. Just like that. You dig? The fight was scheduled to take place at 144 pounds, but Floyd came in two pounds overweight and was fined $600,000. After 21 months off, it was time to step back in the ring. I know this guy's gonna bring his A game, gonna fight hard, but I'm gonna be smart, be intelligent, and just be the best Floyd Mayweather. The three weight divisions, but is this a step too far? The most high-profile sporting comeback of 2009. Marquez started off hard, but it was Mayweather who made the most meaningful start. This is straight right hand. Mayweather's in also. There's a knockdown on a left hook. Floyd landing his left hook, and you can see his left hook is way more powerful than Marquez goes. An advantage because it seems to have known Mayweather's speed and skill. He moves from a punch, counters and lands a punch, and gets away from him. And as the rounds went by, Mayweather's sharpness began to totally take over. Open to get counter with a left. Outthinking Marquez by such a margin. There's the straight <laughs> Being a mismatch of skill. And against Juan Manuel Marquez, that's saying something. Marquez cannot seem to hold off anything that Mayweather's doing pretty much. On <laughs> return to the sport. 21 months off, and he's better than ever. After securing a clear decision win, everyone wanted to know who was next. Sugar Shane Mosley, what are the possibility that we see that fight in the near future? Shane Mosley is one hell of a fight. I'm not, I'm not scared of Shane Mosley. I'm not scared of no. I mean, the fans want to see a great fight. Me and, me and Money Midweather. It's like, it's, 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 hey, yo, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Stop, come up there, interrupt you when you're doing your interview. Don't disrespect me, respect me. Manny Pacquiao. I thought that would get your attention. The thing is this, I'm going to do the talk because you do too much talking. The thing is this, okay then, put it back down this year. I really, I really have. Floyd, your performance, its effectiveness, exceeded even the most optimistic expectations of your greatest admirers at ringside. Well, well I felt good last Saturday, and the main thing that I wanted to do was just go out and uh, display my skills and just uh, be the best that I can be in the sport of boxing. And, um, you know, after the two-year layoff, I came back but I think I, I could still improve and I feel that I still can get better. Other future possible opponents would include Manny Pacquiao if he beats Miguel Cotto, Cotto if he beats Pacquiao, Mosley himself, where do you lean? Well, um, it's really, like I said before, it's not about the money, it's, it's for the love of the sport. You know, I love the sport of boxing, but of course, it gotta make business sense. After a brilliant performance, some of the critics felt that the fact that Marquez jumped up in weight invalidated the value of his performance. Nah, what does that mean? So what? That doesn't mean I nothing. Mean, if you I ain't mean, fighting nobody, I'm nobody's gonna beat you. So what do you say? I'm not talking to dodge nobody. Yes, you, you are. Hear, you, don't, you, don't, you don't hear Miguel Cotto calling me out. You don't hear, you don't hear Pacquiao calling me out. Oh, they don't love the fight. Sugar Shane calling you out. Right? <laughs> man, yo, Marquez was a fat old man, 36 with 17 extra pounds. So heading into 2012, negotiations got underway for a match with Manny Pacquiao, who had just beaten Miguel Cotto. But then, negotiations hit a crucial roadblock over drug testing, and the fight was called off. As a promoter, you start realizing, wait a minute here, th this fight's gonna take a while. In 2010, Mayweather signed to fight Shane Mosley, 
10 years prior in 1999. Mosley initially turned down a fight with Floyd and again in 2006 when Mosley had a toothache. But by now, Floyd felt uneasy over the fact that despite being boxing's most wanted, he still wasn't given his credit. All roads leads to Floyd Mayweather. That's why every fighter is, they chasing me. Yeah, I mean, if I fight Mosley, he want a rematch, I give him a rematch. After, after this, then if Pacquiao wanted, he can get it too. Like I said before, it, I mean, it, it's so many of them fighting. Once I beat him, it's always an excuse. But perhaps beating Mosley would get him credit. As Mosley was a future Hall of Famer and was coming off of a crushing victory over Antonio Margarito and was ranked as one of the best welterweights in the world and many critics felt that this was a solid test to Mayweather's invincibility. You know, I beat Margarito, I want to show the world that I'm the best. Hey, so hey, how many ways did I beat Shane Mosley? Five ways! How about uh, Floyd Mayweather? Zero! Thank you, thank you, thank you. no doubt about it. There are five thank ways to beat Shane Mosley, there are no ways to beat Floyd Mayweather. That's you tell me who's gonna win! The press conference matched the excited vibe of the fans and the fight was preceded by a 24-7 series where both fighters went back and forth with each other. And he runs his mouth and he says, I'm the best of the best in the best history. At some point, you have to back that up. I'm doing Shane Mosley a favor. I'm letting him share the ring with greatness. Kid is so desperate. I made more money in my last two fights than you made in your whole career. It's more like this. Some people are talented and some people are gifted. My nephew truly believes he is the greatest thing in the sport of boxing, period. Someone could say, oh, he said that he's better than Muhammad Ali. Yep, I'm better than Muhammad Ali. Shane Mosley, I don't take that away from you, Shane. You're talented. I'm God gifted. And when he whoop him, I guess everybody else gonna say it too. Yep, I'm better than Sugar Ray Robinson. I would never say it's another fighter better than me. Not surprisingly, Mosley's coach also knew the stature of the task they were facing. Shane's gonna come out and hit Floyd in the mouth, and Floyd is gonna sprout a tail and turn into a dragon in the ring. And notably, this fight would include drug testing for both fighters, which was even more relevant due to the fact that Mosley had been caught using drugs before. You don't know what these fighters are taking. Shane got in trouble for steroids. I didn't, because I ain't never done nothing. It's no more. Uh, steroids, and that's what my career was built on. Yeah, that's not the case. But they want to try to put that stress on me in 2010. How many fights Shane has won in the past? Because we know in the past that, you know, Shane was using enhancement drugs. That's something that we do know. Not all work and dedication. No HGH, no steroids. But this also allowed Mayweather to make a clear statement to all future opponents that drug testing was his expectation now before a fight. We cleaning the sport up. Blood collected, urine collected, and the check collected. Just make a stand for something that I truly believe is right. And that the pre-fight face-off that HBO newly introduced, both fighters continued their trash talk face to face. Come in first, he gonna have to make me respect his skills. He gonna have to make me respect because- Well, the air, the air has been cleared already because I wanted to be put up there so people know that I'm the best welterweight out there. I'm saying, I mean, that's what you're here to try to do. I mean, that's what they, I mean, that's what you're here to, no disrespect, I, I, but that's what you're here to try to do. You'll find that out. Okay. Like, it's, it's it. It's gonna symbolize Mayweather's first loss. Okay. May first. <laughs> I got a lot of tricks up my sleeve, so, you know, you'll see May first. What he does in the ring, from a boxing purist standpoint, is more than pretty. No the rules in the dressing room. I expect a clean, tough fight. What are we going to get tonight? Round one begins. After a competitive first round, Mosley sent shockwaves through the arena in round two. It looks wound up and tight. There's a hard right hand. Just as Mosley's coach predicted, Mosley did land that big punch, but could Mayweather recover? He's 
After taking that big punch, Mayweather told Shane he'd have to kill him to stop him and instantly he took over the fight. And surprisingly, it was Mayweather who began to walk Shane down, looking for the finish. Floyd Mayweather's skill level is at this moment unique. He took the blood in the urine test. All, all I want to do is be on even playing field. So let's continue to go out there and fight the best that they got out there. It's Pacquiao, then I fight Pacquiao. Only thing I'm saying is if every athlete in the sport of boxing is clean, take the test. We can make the fight happen for all the fans. That was supposed to be the most dangerous fight of his career. And Mayweather showed us why he's the best. Who can uh, argue this, but of all time. Mayweather has the skills to beat anybody. He has the talent, he has the work ethic, and people all over the world are becoming fans of the talent he possesses, so we really have to commend him for that. Mayweather is, is on a different level. Tell me one athlete right now that's been dominating the game for 16 years straight without a loss. That ends it all, then I'm gone. Floyd took a long 16 month break after his win over Shane Mosley, but after attending the fight of the year between Andre Berto and Victor Ortiz, Mayweather was excited to fight the winner, Victor Ortiz, who was now the WBC welterweight champion. You're back, Floyd. It's good to see you back. Why now? You know, we got a young, a young, strong champion in Victor Ortiz who looked at um, marvelous in his last fight. And um, he proved to the world that he can bounce back. He bounced back uh, from a, a loss and proved to the world that um, he's one of the top fighters in boxing today. Despite the threat of the young champion, the Mayweather camp was unfazed. Victor Ortiz, he don't mean to me. I wouldn't know him. I wouldn't know him from a Another bag of white rice. However, the Mayweathers was phased by their own family problems with frictions between father and son erupting once again. See, I'm the one that taught them. It would never happen for neither brother, any of us. His name is Floyd Joy Mayweather, Jr. I'm senior. My dad started me off, you know, and left my life at the age of 16. Roger came into my life. You know, he worked with me when I was from 17 years old, you know, to 34. So Roger has have worked with me longer. But, you know, it, it all started with my father. And in one of the most memorable 24-7 moments ever, frictions in the family hit a boiling point. Undefeated. We gonna stay undefeated. You're not even close to him. Not even close. Oh Lord. You're not even close. Not even close. Ain't nothing wrong with Roger. Ain't made you. Roger made Boy, you. Boy, you was right here when I was training you. We don't Same want thing. nobody in the way interfering while it's we work. Why ask you to come here? Anybody gonna come here? What sure. you talking about? You didn't do nothing. And you ain't gonna do shit to me. And you ain't gonna do nothing to me. Come on, Jim. You know, and come put, come put me out to my gym. You couldn't fight worse. You couldn't fight worse. Come whoop me, mother. Come on. You want? The fight, so I'm gonna be something as the trainer. Go ahead, put it, put it. Listen, you already said what you said. Now, there's only two mother in Mayweather that count Roger Mayweather and Floyd Mayweather. And I'm not no junior. But family feuds would have to be put aside for the physical feud coming up. You got everything to lose. I got everything to lose in every fight. I'm never gonna get props that I truly deserve anyway. I'm fighting guys that's winning. When I fought Shane Mosley after Mark Reed, they say this is the best Shane has looked. I fight him, they say, you know what, he's over the hill. But we both in our 30s. I always find a way to get the job done. It looks different when you're on the outside. I realize it's in a different world. 
Maybe you're in a different dimension, but I don't really care. I was I was born for this. I was born to be on this level. I was born to handle this. I handle just, this. I just don't really care with all due respect, bro. Well, I'm gonna brutalize you for 12 rounds. Why? Well, uh, first, you're gonna knock me out, so finish telling me. Okay, I'll, I'll knock you out for oh, sure. Man, what else? Tell me, tell me some more. I'll just show you. All I gotta say is one thing. That's Make what I'm say. any mistakes you have to pay. What was that? That's what I'm gonna say about you, too. It's gonna be a war. On fight night, Victor Ortiz weighed in a massive 14 pounds heavier than Mayweather. He has knocked 12 of his last 13 opponents down. But Mayweather doesn't need title belts to establish his identity. But I think he's going to try to outpower punch. The undefeated, the welterweight champion of the world. Can Ortiz do it? Will Mayweather be as exciting in the ring? A little short right here, Lee. Then he does very effective when he shoots it almost at the same speed. Rhythm of Ortiz's offensive attack. Wrinkle, it's not a punch he normally throws. It's based on just what you just saw. Right hand lead. Mayweather's right hand was extremely effective against the Southpaw champion. There's the right hand again. The fight, and he showed that he was patient. Another left hand lead. Abandoned his family when he was seven. Is it really been right now? Florida systematically breaking him down. No, they're scaring you. He ain't trying to fight. He's running. Keep walking to him. That's all you got to do. Keep walking to him. I believe that was Floyd Mayweather's best round. Mayweather is off of this right hand. As the fight progressed, Mayweather was picking up the aggression with combinations. Eight division is a title holder. Corner, but could only grant one. Throw one punch. And to get to Mayweather, Ortiz had to run into the fire with his youthful ambition. Misses with the right, and Victor Ortiz lands the right hook. But Ortiz's inexperience showed as he got frustrated and resorted to using his head since he couldn't land with his fists. and Mayweather was all too willing to return the same energy. Ortiz is apologizing. And Mayweather was punching. It was legal. You like to claim that you're the best fighter in history? You shouldn't have to do that. Even though it was a legal shot, incoming criticism was inevitable. What'd you do there? You were winning the fight and in I, charge. I got hit with a dirty shot. He done something dirty. Uh, we're not here to cry and complain about what he did dirty or what I did dirty. You don't ever give me a fair shake. So I'm gonna go and let you talk to Victor Ortiz, all right? What talk are to you Victor talking? Ortiz. You never give me a fair shake. HBO need to fire you. You don't know about boxing. Here, you not I wish I was 50 years younger you and I'd kick your ass. Victor later admitted to intentionally headbutting Floyd but felt that he had a justified reason to do so. I was trying to break his nose, 100%, because he nailed me 16 times with his elbow. And I kept telling Cortez, elbow, it was fourth round, so I unleashed the headbutt. You wanna get dirty? I got dirty. For that, I started feeling bad. And that's why I was like, yo, Floyd, my, my bad, bro. I apologize, man. So I gave him a hug. They got me to feel human. And when I felt human, I paid for it. I mean, I've been kicking ass for, for the longest, but they're still not giving me my props that I really deserve. But whoever you put in front of me, they can't beat me. They can't beat me. Yet again, the fight with Pacquiao fell through, this time due to purse-split disagreements. And instead, Mayweather signed to fight Miguel Cotto for the light middleweight title in the summer of 2012. However, Mayweather's personal life was suffering from multiple legal cases. My man tell you like it's always gonna be. F it. Period. Lies. If I'm innocent, leave me alone. If I'm guilty, do what you gotta do. That's what's been going on the last 15 months. And the outcome of one of those cases threatened his date with Cotto. Floyd pleaded guilty to domestic violence after a heated argument with the mother of his children. And despite there being no evidence against him, Floyd was sentenced to 90 days in jail. I'm not worried about it. It is what it is. I take the good with the good, I take the bad with the bad. How can a lie get so far? 
doesn't matter whether you're guilty or not. They can do anything they want to do, period. How can someone who didn't do anything have to suffer a consequence of this magnitude of this situation? Fortunately, the judge allowed Mayweather to fight Miguel Cotto first before going in. But the question was, what effect would this personal issue have on Mayweather? Miguel Cotto was a serious challenge. He was a four-time three-weight champion who had beaten Shane Mosley, Zab Judah, and was coming off of his revenge win over Margarito. Miguel Cotto had the weight advantage that Marquez didn't have, had the age advantage that Mosley didn't have, but had the experience that Victor Ortiz lacked. And though Mayweather was the favourite on paper, this was the toughest challenge that Mayweather had faced in years. He's, he's not going to be able to outfight me in a war. Uh, Mikael Cotto is a very, very quiet guy, but he's in there me up. Like, he may face Margarito, so he's able to spin him and pivot him. But with, with me, when he pivot, I'm able to pivot and move and quick and agile. I'm in there to you up. I can care less because I know he ain't there to do damage to me. I'm a winner. Come May 5th, I will win. I will die a winner. You better believe that. Cotto gonna come ready. Cotto is gonna come ready. I'm here today because of every, everything I passed through. This is my moment to shine. Okay. Okay. You know, fight night, I'm ready to go out there and, and fight. Champ, it's gonna be what it's gonna be. Cotto know what it is. Just look at the bright side. You gotta pay a lot of money for this ass for. 54 pounds for the defending world champion. Both fighters were looking in great shape and both were fired up to fight. Along with Manny Pacquiao, these are two of the three most experienced big fight fighters in the sport. Now, coming to the ring, seven time world champion, Floyd Over here. The first couple rounds saw both men fighting with intent, with Cotto aiming to push Floyd back, and Floyd on the other hand wasn't too hard to find. Miguel is fighting with confidence. Cotto fighting behind the tight defensive guard. Hasn't taken all that much. Floyd handled the attacks well, and when he was pushed to the ropes, he used the famous shoulder roll defense. Mayweather in the corner and try to land in the first two rounds. Right side where he gets hit as a hook. And also, look at one of the best I've ever saw since Muhammad Ali. Still doing a lot of punches, creating a lot of excitement. Floyd is a. Koto was making it an intense fight. It was very competitive, but Floyd's accuracy was giving him the edge. His punch is coming. Hey, with the lads, right hand around Koto's glove. He's bouncing in, he starts a little short. Floyd could see it in time. But basically, after round four, the intensity of the bout continued and the combinations began to flow. But Cotto now began to force Mayweather into the ropes where he would have his best chances. At the end of a minute of rest, do you see his stamina fading here? Again, Cotto's making the mark here and there. And Cotto decided to step up his game employing unorthodox attacks to catch Mayweather off guard. It has seemed to have worked for Cotto, but he keeps working. Heavier boned guy than Floyd. He's basically a little bit of a size difference between them. And why would he go to the ropes if he has this advantage here? A jab almost every opponent. No any damage here. Now it was Mayweather who was walking Cotto down. Cotto is backing up and becoming more of a counterpuncher. puncher McClotty this way. McClotty was no Floyd Mayweather. More blood for the nose. So far, this was no easy task for Mayweather. Combinations that we spoke of, all right? We bust up so he's in That right hand was blocked. That right um, that he Allowing some body shots here. Rare. Boom! Cotto's putting a lot of 
Tip of that left hook. Semi uppercut by Mayweather. Big uppercut by Mayweather with the left hand. Now he's found another weapon. But Cotto makes his mark too. And now, in the last minute, those four left hand uppercuts along the ropes. Big shot by Cotto. Mayweather landing. In a great round for Cotto, his activity and accuracy made its mark. Mayweather hasn't lost a round this clearly and solidly for some time. But Cotto is the one who clear win in this round for Miguel Cotto. The fans cheering the blood on Mayweather. In round nine, with both fighters starting to feel the intensity, Cotto began to take his foot off the attacking gas, but his defense remained good. Going into the final three, both fighters were having great moments, but Mayweather's conditioning and accuracy seemed to give him the edge. Any lack of will, the fight with Manny Pacquiao, he still suffered a lot of punishment. You could say he's making Floyd earn his 40 or 45 million dollars. Maybe some of this is Floyd's more of a pure boxer and a brilliant one. Cotto slowing down here in the 11th round. A sign that his extraordinary stamina is surplus. Mayweather in a hard fight and bleeding. In the last moments of the fight, Cotto continued marching forward, but Mayweather was ready, and then with a tremendous uppercut, it appeared as if Mayweather may get a knockout. By Cotto. After an amazing fight, Mayweather was named the victor. And still undefeated. Battle royal like this for a long time. What was it like? Miguel Cotto was a, was a tough competitor, so you know I had to go out there and execute the game plan and fight my heart out. You know, I bit down and fought hard like a true champion, but he's a tough competitor. What else can I say? I was more impressed with him tonight than hardly any fight since the Diego Corrales. He's just to fight his way through victory. But it was a good fight, a good test, and I thought he came through very well. I was very impressed. The fight was so tough that it even had Mayweather considering retirement. Who, 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 who? Uppercuts, hooks. I don't know if this is my last fight tonight. That mother may make me go on retirement. That bitch was tough. After the fight with Cotto, Mayweather was set to serve 90 days in prison. What's your mindset like, right? Only thing I can do is try to take a negative and turn it into a positive. It's not like I'm doing life without parole. Then I have something to be upset about. And the question for those closest to him was how would he deal with it? They don't think he's ready. To Floyd, that can seem like a lifetime. But one thing we know as far as fighting, Floyd Mayweather don't have any problems adjusting to anything. We're talking about no marks, no bruises, no nothing. Show me some pictures first. In what would be an impactful moment in his life, Floyd entered jail on June 1st, and two weeks later, he was named the highest paid athlete in the world. Floyd Mayweather Jr. is set to be released from jail. Fortunately, after serving 60 days, Floyd was free on August the 3rd. Floyd, anything you want to tell us now? I can't even believe I'm out. Y'all trying to stop me, boy. Y'all trying to stop me? Y'all trying to stop me? Am I a different person? Absolutely. You supposed to be rehabilitating, and all you're doing is getting madder. I'm f***ed up from the situation. Man, y'all was wrong. Yeah, flat out. That ain't right. And after his release, Mayweather's character wasn't the only thing that would change, as after a tumultuous 14-year relationship with HBO, Mayweather was unsatisfied with the television network. HBO, they they work they foul at the end of the day. They foul. Mayweather didn't feel appreciated by the company. Uh, my contract with HBO, for 16 years, I, only, I think I only had a three-year contract with HBO. I've been with y'all, I've been loyal to y'all for 16 years and this is what I get. And knowing the economic value he brought to the table, 
Mayweather felt that he deserved better from the company he was with since the beginning. And then Larry Merchant get in there, he don't ask nobody else questions like that. They try to ask me questions like... It's, it can easily be a billion dollars that I bring to the city in, you know, three days. Mayweather jumped ship to Showtime Sports and CBS Networks and received a groundbreaking contract which would give Mayweather the power to write his own checks. You gotta realize the, what he's doing. I've never seen a fighter holding all the cards. It's unprecedented. In 2013, Floyd was preparing to fight once again and in the new pre-fight television series, Showtime's All Access, Floyd had a renewed desire to entertain. My side sold a lifestyle. I'm selling a lifestyle. <laughs> but on a more serious note, the series showed the return of Floyd Mayweather Sr. with the reconciliation of father and son. I brought my dad back to camp because he's here to fix any problems that I had, you know, from the Cotto fight. I'm gonna tell my son what he needs to know. He don't want me to take any punishment, so I need to tighten up with my defense. It's, it's, not, it's not to hurt him, it's to benefit him. And I told him he's right. My dad just, that's who I started with. That's what I want to finish with. I'm not going to stop my nephew saying to his dad, uh, you can train me. I, I'm not going to do that. That's my brother still. Fight night, my dad will be in my corner. We all looking for the same thing, you know, victory, May 4th. Floyd fought Robert Guerrero, who was a former two-weight world champion and the current interim WBC welterweight champion after he defeated Andre Berto. Though Robert's nickname was The Ghost, it was Floyd who was the real ghost as he was almost impossible to hit clean. Despite her in his hand, Mayweather put on a beautiful display to convincingly beat Robert Guerrero and his hand was injured so badly that it needed instant medical attention. I apologize, I didn't get the knockout. I tried, see my hand swollen. I had to go get my hand checked out at the hospital. It's crazy now. Um, they're gonna keep creating fighters. Um, one minute it was like Pacquiao, Pacquiao, Pacquiao. He lose two in a row. They don't even talk about him no more. Now it's Canelo, Canelo, Canelo. So, and Pacquiao's a good fighter, Canelo's a good fighter. But you know, they're gonna keep, they're never gonna stop creating fighters. The next fighter who was being credited as the next great threat to Mayweather's supremacy was a young Mexican champion by the name of Saul Canelo Alvarez. Canelo Alvarez had gained massive exposure fighting on Mayweather's undercards, but he was now looking to take over. This, this long line of fighters I beat. Matter of fact, you know, it show all the champions that I beat. Now, show me who you beat, Canelo. He was viewed as the next best Mexican great after amazing performances against respectable competition, including some of Mayweather's past opponents. And many now wanted to see the young prince challenge the aging king. Saul Canelo Alvarez can knock you out with any punch. It has to be careful getting hit by a big shot from Canelo that could change the fight. I can't overlook no opponent. You gotta prepare all around the board. Lupin is right there. Just look at it. I took it out of the vault and I handed it over to Canelo Alvarez. I think Canelo can do better than Oscar did. You fight to beat me. Every fight I always talk about, we, we gonna beat Mayweather. We got the rim shut up. Oscar will try to give Canelo the blueprint and he will lose. And everybody that Oscar De La Hoya gave, gave the blueprint to, I kicked their ass to. He's not 25 anymore. He's not 30 anymore. Canelo has got to make him feel that age. 36, he's almost 37 years old when this fight goes on. And me, myself, I have a lot of experience. Canelo, he's baking on his youth. That plays a major key in a big fight. I don't care what you do good. I do everything great. Having said that, I'm still picking Canelo Alvarez to win the fight. I think when Floyd gets hit by Canelo, he'll realize right away. I, I got the best mind. Well, I don't have to be the strongest. Like I always say, it's chess. But I, I really, truly feel uh, this will be the passing of the torch. I'm going to be one of them that's going to take a deep breath and say, finally. The problem is that Mayweather, how he going to win? He has to get the new one. Mayweather has finished. 
El reinado de Mayweather se terminó. This little shadow, this Canelo shadow, he next. The highest paid athlete in all of sport. This fight was set to be one of the richest sporting events in history, with Mayweather eventually pocketing $80 million. I don't have to sell this fight. It speaks for itself. And this was no doubt helped by the new style of press conferences that Showtime had set up. And he's one of the best guys out there in the sport of boxing. The best thing for us to do is make the fight happen. Showtime, CBS, baby, it's all access. Let's go. And come September 14th, it's the best versus the best. Matter of fact, they need to put a ring right here in Times Square and let us do it today. The fighters went state to state and got boxing fans all over excited. A mí nadie me intimida. Who's the one? Canelo Mania is sweeping the United States. The one Mexico has been waiting for. He is the bigger one. He's the younger one. He's the stronger one. Who will be the one? He ain't the highest paid one. Without any further ado, he is boxing's biggest star, hailing out of Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, 30 knockouts, Saúl El Canelo Álvarez. En el boxeo, todos tenemos nuestro tiempo, y este es el mío. I've been sitting on the top of the throne for 17 years. It's so crazy that... Canelo is such a big star, but he's never been on pay-per-view unless he was on my undercard. But he's such a big star. He's such a big star, Oscar. You know what? You might as well call me the golden boy, because I done beat everybody on your host, your whole crew. I'm, I'm fly, I'm flashy, I'm rich. Damn, life is good. See you September 14th. By the time the fight had come, 2.2 million pay-per-views were sold, which was below the pay-per-view number for Mayweather De La Hoya, but the bout accumulated $150 million in pay-per-view sales, which was a record-breaking number. But would the bout live up to the hype? You let the bulls up you. Touch them up, and it's what they Terrific noise in the arena. You can hardly hear the bell for the first round. From the opening bell, both fighters stayed in range to land sharp shots, but the two stayed wary of counter punches. Later in the round, not a great punch. Mayweather landing counter punches on the. And now come down, and then he's going to have to be desperate. One two combination there by Mayweather. Oh, shots there, and moving out. Smith puts the oh, they take control of the fight so far. They each have small moments. Counter left hand by Mayweather. In round four, Mayweather turned up the heat, beautifully utilizing the boxing term hit and not get hit. Now, effectively. Great right hand. Nobody's yet. There's a Canelo responded to Mayweather by taking out his frustration with a dirty shot. After five rounds, the fight was exciting, but Canelo's team wanted him to charge forward. But hitting Mayweather clean was easier said than done. He stops like Mayweather unless you can talk. Right, that fast stop Mayweather's shoulder. There was a left hook that landed by Canelo. Good round for Floyd Mayweather. Lead left hand by. Sometimes that's a counter punch. Neither guy helping the army Floyd has. It's starting to make Canelo gunshot. But he's fighting the best boxer of his generation. I know that's why it's 6 1. And in round seven, Mayweather put on a masterclass to showcase his tremendous reflexes 
and his punch perfect accuracy. The sharp counter punch can be an intimidator. Double jab through the guard and that oh, the jab to the body. Look at this. And now Canelo comes back with Floyd Mayweather now. I mean, he's got beat Floyd to the right. Look, Floyd always get to that side. So that Floyd it was time for Canelo to step up or risk letting the fight slip away. And in round eight, Canelo was determined to come back and push Floyd. And Canelo did just that, testing Mayweather's defense and counter punching all the way. Despite Canelo's aggression, most of his punches were missing and Canelo was falling into counter punches from Floyd. As the last few rounds approached, Mayweather was finding Canelo's chin with perfection. The big punch in the heel. Oh, right hand by Bruce has been negated by the best. The difference in experience and quality was really making the difference in the fight. Passed it very well. And Canelo, at this point, might need. He's done. He's got to use that jab. He's here. Floyd's just taking the left hand. For the world super welterweight champion. Going into the last two rounds, Canelo's team knew they needed to make a big impact. Mayweather. Despite the effort, Mayweather's domination was continuing, and with valiance, Canelo continued to walk into the fire, but to no avail. Mayweather remains money. After a tremendous showing, Mayweather had earned a victory that would go down in history. Pensábamos que lo íbamos a agarrar, pero simplemente no, no hallamos la solución. Mayweather had put on a boxing masterclass to beat the fighter who he forecasted would succeed him as the next pound for pound king. Experience played a major key. I want to commend this young, strong champion because he will carry the torch. You know, I take my hat off to Canelo, he's a true champion, and a true champion can take a loss and bounce back. And, you know, I only got 24 months left, and this is the man. After such a victory, did Mayweather still have much to prove? I want to be the best athlete, period. And that's the best ever. In 2014, many fighters out there wanted the lottery fight with Mayweather. And with Pacquiao still in the process of building himself back up from his losses, there were few credible names left for him to choose from. Some hit the jackpot, some don't. And, uh, you know, that's life. But there were two fighters that were on the shortlist. The first was Marcos Maidana, a brawling machine from Argentina who had 31 knockouts in 35 of his wins. The other fighter was Amir Khan, a speedy fighter who had once engaged in a tough battle with Maidana three years earlier that he won. So Mayweather asked the fans on social media who they would like to see him fight, and the fans were split. It then later seemed that Khan was the man who would get the nod, but in the end, it was Maidana who secured the big fight. Floyd made that decision based upon his performance. Maidana's the hottest guy out there. And despite the dismay of Amir Khan's fans, the bout was set for the 3rd of May 2014, and Mayweather was taking it serious. Maidana, he's tough. He got the will to win, so this is a tough fight for me. If any proof was needed that this would be a tough fight, fans only needed to look at Maidana's last performance, which was against Adrian Broner. Adrian Broner was considered to be Mayweather's heir, both stylistically and personality-wise. But that would be no problem for Maidana, who beat up Adrian Broner en route a 12-round decision. I'm just mad what he did to Adrian Broner. I'm upset. Broner 
got out hustled. You can't take nothing for granted. And Maidana's coach felt that the Brona result would repeat itself. You gotta stay on him. You, you gotta make it make it ugly. You gotta make it dirty. My word, debe saber que él se tiene que cuidar y. Apenchino has no respect for nobody when they're inside the ring. He just goes in there to tr trust to knock his opponent out. 25 victoria. Creo que no puede retirarse invicto. Sé que de un golpe lo puedo llegar a a, a tirar o, o a noquear. But the day before the fight, it seemed that the fight was not even going to take place and that Maidana may not get a chance to even land a punch as there was a dispute between the two camps with Mayweather's team feeling that the gloves Maidana was wearing didn't have enough padding in them. The, the gloves, I told him, have no padding in them. The Chinos I, use that glove. I've always worn everlast. I can't wear anything else. Fighting him with those gloves on, that's so. not happening. No wonder he locking everybody out. No, I, I, smell, I smell something else. No, 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 Floyd prohibited Maidana from fighting in the particular Everlast gloves that Maidana's team wanted. I, 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 I can tell you right now. I can tell you right now. I can tell you right now. Fuck no. Why don't you wear these ones too? No, 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 after the controversy was set aside, Maidana's chance had come to be the first fighter to give Mayweather his L. And though on paper Mayweather was the favourite, the come forward brawling style that worked well for Castillo and Cotto against Floyd was a style that Maidana had, so it was looking to be an exciting fight. Man's of all times above all, protects himself of all times. Bonos said I will fight this one differently than I have in the past. Tacking or moving his hands, he's gonna have a problem in this fight. Set up his offense. Too hard, but just like Maidana know, he's varying the offense. And of course, Mike. Maidana came out storming and managed to rough Mayweather up, throwing a hundred punches in the first round and landing more punches than Mayweather. By far, this seemed to be the most fanatic first round Mayweather had ever experienced. We have not seen Mayweather in this posture in a long time. But watch for Mayweather He's slipping in. To the round. Not everything is landing, but some things are landing. In order to defeat Mayweather, he's only done that once. Know what he's doing? Now Mayweather firing back with the left hook and the right, but there's a right hand from Maidana. And at the end of the first round, Floyd attempted to finish it strong, but Maidana did enough to win it, and his coaches were ecstatic. Floyd came out stronger, throwing more solid shots and moving from the return fire, but Maidana was on a seek and destroy mission. Maidana's plan was to constantly push Floyd into the ropes. They weren't all landing, but the momentum of the fight was perfect for Maidana. Mayweather right hand is always so accurate. He's a little more movement. Mayweather, in all power punch you normally can make an arm punch by Maidana. Maidana making this a rough and tumble fight. Maidana didn't even want to touch gloves. No. I'll tell you, the body language of the fight is what Maidana wants. He couldn't have asked for a better. It's a very entertaining evening. And the all accent. This. This is a bit of a brawl. Oh, he just misses with that left hook. There's the left. So landing more punches. Oh, good body. Look, but he's very precise. And there's a left hook. And now Maidana was still managing to push Floyd into the ropes. Be, uh, oh, sorry. sorry about that. Did just 18% of theirs. They're along the ropes. Oh, Maidana with a left For the first time in years, Floyd was severely cut after an accidental headbutt. Around the middle rounds, Floyd's accuracy started to hike the more that he moved toward Maidana. Like Maidana 
The fans were getting all of their money's worth as the two were trading in the middle of the ring. This is off my ring sets where he can anticipate all the punches, not tonight. against Brother wouldn't work, but ironically, some of them have worked. In the second half of the fight, Mayweather was beginning to find the target with increasing effectiveness. The punch, short right hand by Mayweather, men of Argentine fans. There's a left hook by Mayweather, second. As the intensity remained high, so did the dirty fighting. Usted sigue tirando. Juegale sucio. Mete el brazo. Wanting to establish, coming in. Left hand. And as we are at the midway point of the fight, here's the other. Combinations downstairs again. And let's not forget, Floyd Mayweather has... Castillo fight, if I remember correctly, he yeah. was his island, but you never saw him dripping. Here's a round that's up for grabs. You're expecting loopy shots. Lead left hook by Mayweather. Nice counter left hook by Mayweather. In the last four rounds, it seemed that the fight was up for grabs for the fighter who could make a clear impression on the judges. There's a left from Maidana, Mayweather. I should remember, I think I did that fight. Mayweather. And Mallard jab, and that's something that Robert Garcia has added to his arsenal. In the championship rounds, Floyd turned up the pressure to totally dominate the fight. Maidana, three and two. Little body shots on the jab. Close you off, they'll suddenly start coming up the middle. Maidana back now, though. And another right hand by Mayweather connects the moment at the MGM Grand. In the last round, Maidana was sure to push hard, so the fans were in for an entertaining last round. But how would Floyd punctuate the fight? Had me by one point, Steve by In the finishing moments, Floyd was slippery as usual. Fights, think about that. Three and two for my gun. Left hook, right hand. Up. Can I already request a rematch? <laughs> I'm sure people will be talking. Time crowd. Oh, There's a lead run. Who says Floyd Mayweather fights can't be exciting? Las Vegas. Both fighters felt that they had done enough. But who would the judges pick? Fight, very close fight, and both got to promise he made. He said this. Mayweather. After a hard-fought match, Mayweather's O wasn't destined to go. After a competitive fight first time around, many of Maidana's fans felt that Maidana had done enough to win. So to set aside all the controversy, the rematch was instantly scheduled to take place in the fall of 2014. So if one person say Floyd Mayweather lost, everyone wants to say Floyd Mayweather lost. This matchup mirrored Mayweather's matches with Jose Luis Castillo, who was the only fighter who Mayweather had rematched before. And it was no surprise that both fighters had a similar approach. The guy was real, real entertaining. Dirty, but entertaining. And this time around, with all that happened before, it set up an entertaining press tour for the fight. It's, it's been almost 20 years and I'm still here. When I beat you and your career is over, guess what? I'm gonna still be right here. Right now, if I'm fight, am I fighting a, a boxer or am I fighting an MMA fighter? What I can't believe is this one of the best trainers, but he's telling his fighter to fight dirty. If he's not giving us no respect, we got to do the same back to him. Please, I want to have sex after my fight is over, so please don't hit me in my... You was touching my more than my woman was. Look, I retired 13 years ago, Floyd, but if I were to fight like a bitch, I'd probably still be undefeated. 16 years ago, I was a world champion. Yes. But if we want to go take a little walk, me and you could take a little walk. This fight is going to be rougher for you. You better be ready, because this fight's going to be rougher for you. Come on, Floyd, winner takes all. You got a lot of money. 
Winner takes all. Let us wear our MS Everlast gloves. Are you willing to do it? No, you're gonna, you're gonna shake my hand? Come on, hand. Give me a handshake. See, you don't want us to wear gloves. Let us wear our gloves. Let us wear our gloves. We got gloves for you too. We finally resolved the, uh, the glove situation. And we have them here so you guys can see them. Those are the gloves we're gonna be wearing. No me molesta, si me destino a ganarle, le voy a ganar con cualquier guante. If he's upset about me, do something about it, September 13th. The question was, could Maidana improve on his last performance? We're switching a few punches around where he's gonna give trouble to the best boxer in the world. However, Mayweather was also determined to improve. Nobody has really seen me push myself like I pushed myself this camp. I'm extremely hungry for this fight. I really, really want to win. In the early rounds, Maidana's plan was to repeat his last performance and jump right on Mayweather. But Mayweather had a different approach than last time and he decided to start with much more movement this time around. Mayweather was landing single shots, then making sure that he was out of the way. After minutes of missing, Maidana landed one of the hardest shots that Mayweather had ever taken. Motivated by his last punch, Maidana attempted to build on it and pushed Mayweather back with intensity in the next round. Maidana knows he hurt him at the end of that third. Oh, rocket in the trouble in for sure. Smile on. <laughs> Floyd weathered the storm and in the next round, Mayweather was dodging most of Maidana's blows and was coming back with his own. Picking Maidana off. Making Mayweather work hard. Maidana just faked to the right hand and he come back with the left hook. Mayweather particularly. And in frustration with Mayweather's slipperiness, Maidana resorted to biting Floyd's thumb. Legal shots. Mayweather protested to the ref that he was bitten, but since it couldn't be proven, Maidana couldn't be disqualified. The bout continued though, and Floyd was catching Maidana as he came in close. And once again, Maidana continued taking out his frustration. Late in the career. It's not a bad idea, but... But Maidana's dirty tactics had little effect on the box in itself. Over the top. Mayweather takes it well. Look again for Mayweather in retreat. And then Floyd accidentally returned the treatment too. Just like with the Castillo rematch, this victory was clear for everyone to agree. And still the undefeated champion of the world, Mayweather. After the fight, Mayweather gave his mindset for the last few rounds. I'm not trying to mess my legs here. If I know I had to fight one and in the bag, why would I go out there and fight toe to toe in the 12th round? The smart fighters will last a long, long time being extremely smart. And the question now was would the Pacquiao fight finally be made? About Pacquiao. And what I said is we don't know what the future holds for Floyd Mayweather. Pacquiao had successfully completed his comeback scoring wins over Timothy Bradley and Chris Algieri. The world was eager to see the fight once again, and Mayweather this time felt the same way. Do you want to fight Manny Pacquiao? Oh, absolutely. Um, Floyd Mayweather is not ducking or dodging. I, I've been wanted that fight a long time ago. We are ready. Let's make this fight happen for the people. Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao, May 2nd.
Manny Pacquiao is performing, we want Floyd Mayweather against Manny Pacquiao. Though both fighters were ready to fight, it still was not that easy to make. He's not on my level, and of course, I want to go out with a bang. There still were issues amongst the contract negotiators. Bob Arum is stopping the fight. We have been trying to make this fight happen. But the negotiations would eventually be put into the hands of the fighters themselves. In a crazy coincidence, Floyd and Manny attended the same Miami Heat basketball game. I never expected that it was there. The two met face to face for the first time ever, eventually exchanging numbers. Later that night, they met up at Manny's suite and expressed their desire to both make the fight happen. You guys are the prize fighters. Who can stop you two from fighting if you both really want? Early in 2015, the two sides were breaking down the obstacles to the fight, including with the television networks, the drug testing issues which were so significant before, the split with the money, and on February 20th, terms had been agreed and the fight was finally on. Now, finally, he has nowhere to go, his corner. After a dramatic six-year build-up, Pacquiao and Mayweather were scheduled to share the ring. May 2nd in Las Vegas, or if you prefer the countdown, 71 days away, whatever you prefer, it's huge. Right from the first and only press conference, the magnitude of the event was evident, with the two best fighters in the world getting the red carpet treatment. Uh, Manny Pacquiao, he's a solid competitor, and uh, May 2nd, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have a, a brilliant game plan. And then came the sight the world was waiting for, Floyd and Manny officially facing off. They'll all be watching this great event unfold. We are in the toughest fight of our life. Uh, we're fighting the best fighter in the world. And we're gonna kick his ass, I'm sorry. But, uh, good luck, we, we'll, we will do our best and, 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 and May, on May 2 to, uh, to make you happy. And Pacquiao is one of the best fighters of this era. I'm in the gym working right now, pushing myself to the limit because I never want to win a fight so bad in my life. And I'm pretty sure he's gonna push himself to the limit just the same way I wanna win. But one thing I do know, when you lose, it's in your mind. If you lost twice, it's in your mind. And as the fighters pushed themselves to the limit, the attention of the media followed suit and the attention that this fight attracted was on another level. Nine figures in 36 minutes, truly, truly blessed, and I'm thankful. Fans felt that finally Floyd would meet his equal, but with characteristic belief, Floyd felt that he would prove the critics wrong. I'm gonna show you the way to make, make four or five hundred million in the sport. You gotta watch me. Everyone is saying, if anybody has, has a chance of beating Floyd Mayweather, this is the guy. I mean, but he makes a lot of mistakes. I do have a great game plan. Me and Manny have been working on it for the last two days. It's just that, you know, Mayweather does set traps. But Manny has to recognize when he's setting that trap and nullify it. It's easy to nullify, I promise you. He said the same thing before. And it's all about the fighters fighting May 2nd and giving the people excitement. He can't run so much anymore because his legs are a little bit shot. And he can't move like he is. He's going to have exchange work. I'm more comfortable for this fight than I was for the last fight. And Pacquiao seemed to be just as relaxed, so both camps were brimming with confidence. I'm more worried about the fight when, when I fought De La Hoya and Cotto than this fight. I want, I want him to approach it like he's not nervous. The same mother that kicked his to Marquez, you see what I did to him. I believe in my skills. I want to do it in, in such a beautiful fashion. There's five ways to beat him. There's no way to beat me. Mayweather understood the magnitude of the event and took it more serious than the last 47. He skipped out on the usual pre-fight parties he would usually hold. You know, he's preparing mentally for the fight. He wants to prove to everyone that he is the best and no one can take that from him. It's not like a normal fight. Floyd also drafted in the assistance of one other Southpaw who gave him a good fight a decade earlier, Zab Judah. Zab is in the gym now pushing me, making me think. I'd like to be surrounded by world champions. I would love to see him excel in this opportunity. We just heard of him. He just came on the scene. And that's what I need for a guy like Manny. Floyd and Manny had shared multiple opponents in the past, so they and other fighting legends gave their unique perspective on the matchup. Pacquiao has been in tougher fights. Mayweather, on the other hand, 
has been somewhat of kind of cruising. A counter puncher Going against aggressive. an aggressor. So something has to give. This is a great matchup in that. Manny Pacquiao, he's going to go in. He's going to try and attack. Quickness Manny has, explosive is his main advantage. Pacquiao is a great fighter. He has speed. He has power. Needs to do pressure. But he needs a little intelligence on the ring. Being aggressive on him the whole fight. His uh, strategy, you can beat him. He has to come in this fight better than he's ever been before. How is he going to overcome this? Pacquiao connect one punch with power, maybe Mayweather going down. This, this can't be an easy fight. This is good. He's going to get hit. Who do you ever fight like this? You ever have a fly in front of you and you can't catch it? Manny Pacquiao was like that for eight rounds. He hurt you with every punch, even the arm punch is solid. More explosive punch than Floyd Mayweather. And that that's what might give uh, Mayweather trouble. I think uh, Floyd Mayweather is the best pound for pound fighter. Now this guy's a strategist. This guy uh, knows how to calculate his punches. Floyd Mayweather think, try to be one or two step ahead. He's looking for opportunities as he rolls. He wants Pacquiao to extend himself. I think he likes people putting the pressure on him. They bring the best out of him. And Mayweather's a master of throwing those, those right hands. He throws them very well. He knows how to throw combinations enough to win the round. At this age, at this time, can he do it now? I think that's going to be important. That's Everything depends on what kind of mind they have on May 2nd. It's very interesting to see what Manny Pacquiao shows up and what Mayweather shows up. When Floyd and Manny showed up at the weigh-in, it was the biggest ever, with the fans who couldn't afford the high-priced tickets getting a glimpse of the two prize fighters. Because most of these people will not get a chance to see the fight in person. This is going to be New Year's Eve times 10. Where were you May 2nd? I was in Vegas, baby. All the hotels, the clothes, the food, shows, those are the type of things that I bring to the table. And if you're not a boxing fan, you know this fight's coming. Once in a lifetime and it's not going to happen again. This is definitely the largest fight we've ever had here. The tickets for this fight were also the largest. They were originally priced between 1500 and 7500 bucks, but were being resold as high as 150 to $350,000. How much did you pay for your tickets? $44,000 a ticket. With the career high paydays guaranteed for each other, the focus was back on the fighting, and both were in tremendous shape for the biggest event of their lives. 145 pounds at 146 pounds. It was now time for the generation's best two fighters to fight. Mayweather, the older of the two, he has had less ring wear and tear than has Manny Pacquiao. As expected, the atmosphere in the arena was electric. In the first, and yet the red corner, Manny Pacman Pacquiao. Bedeviled by the notion this fight might never take place. And now, here they are. Mayweather versus Pacquiao. Finally. Mayweather with early jabs. Floyd fought with intense focus right from the opening belt, bothering Pacquiao with his lead left and not giving up ground. So Manny quickly found that he couldn't just jump in with his usual aggression as Mayweather was working the right hand well. However, he managed to corner Floyd at the end of the first round. Now Pacquiao momentarily got Mayweather into the corner. Pacquiao's best chance, and he'll look for another opportunity like that. And Manny's corner knew they needed a better way to get inside. There's no walk in. And the two big right hands, that was a Mayweather round. Pacquiao came out even more intent on getting close. As he landed the left hand of the chest of Mayweather, Mayweather. But this wasn't without risk against a great counterpuncher like Floyd.
round, the 44 in the second round, but landed only six punches. The approach of the fighters were the polar opposites, with Floyd throwing single accurate counter shots and Pacquiao attempted to push Mayweather back with punches and bunches. He's still having trouble finding the target. Now he's got Mayweather in the corner. And he's a big hitter that people no, want to give no, him credit no, no, for. They don't call him the best defensive fighter ever. Right, right, no Pacquiao. Pacquiao seems to be falling right now like he doesn't really know what he wants to do. People compare him to Bruno Whitaker and why not? Now this, so we're into round four of a scheduled 12. Judge with your eyes, couple of points. Pacquiao's the aggressor, but not the effective aggressor. In round four, Mayweather was still elusive, but Pacquiao was determined to force the action. But oh, he just landed a left hand, and it looks like it hurt Mayweather, and maybe hurt Floyd Mayweather. He's going to covering up and protecting Pacquiao. fight was now getting the drama that fans were hoping for. But how would Mayweather respond? I'll be able to get going at some point. And there, there's the Mayweather right hand tactically in the fight. No, 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 no. So skilled and experienced that that may not happen. And landed at exactly the same percentage against their blocking them pretty effectively for Floyd Mayweather. Punch edge and landed shot. Those are the two flurries against the ropes. Not a prolific body puncher, but clear this is a reminder of the early rounds of the Oscar De La Hoya fight. And both Shane Mosley and Oscar De La Hoya. Pacquiao's punches wasn't landing as much as they usually do with other fighters, but Mayweather Sr. felt that his son would need to do more to dominate the fight in the eyes of the judges. Entering the second half of the fight, Mayweather seemed to be inspired from his father. Domination by Floyd because he don't want to be fun. And then lunging in. But do, but guess what? We're more than this. He doesn't jab as much as people think. Just not to give him the round. His punches are very flat. And muffles him in the next round. Yeah, that's exactly right, Jim. And it's good to do that. Yeah, but the difference is it's not bothering to use that double jab and stutter. And that pretty jab, Jim. That long jab is making back out there. Well, he should step to the right and get outside of make Great left hook by Mayweather. Goes to the left hook ahead on the scorecards. It would be because of... Pacquiao couldn't land solid combinations, whilst Mayweather himself was comfortable landing more accurate pot shots. Mayweather isn't landing big shots, just touching Pacquiao. He can slow you down in his pace. There's no way in the world you're going to beat him. I don't care how good you think you are. Now, at what point, Roy Jones, better defender than Juan Manuel Marquez. There you see the copy box numbers of total punches thrown most of the fight. Right in. He wants to catch the bucket. Pacquiao's got him in a corner. Here's his chance. Going into the championship rounds, Manny's goal was to add accuracy to his activity, but it was Mayweather who was stepping up. Floyd Mayweather's hard right hand by the 17 and 0 in 12 round fights. And that I, have, uh, I have Mayweather comfortably ahead. I think he's one most ahead of the advantage speed in many respects. Hard left hand to the body. Back. Having the effective jab that he's had uh, against the South. Fighting behind his jab, beast. It's not easy against any fighter. Maybe we don't have to much. He's ahead. Yeah, I think it's becoming obvious. You know, we said it going in. Entered the ring. He didn't get off to his fast to start in the first couple of rounds. He got. He has Manny Pacquiao. He wants him. So he hunts Manny Pacquiao with right hand counter shot. He believes that he has Manny beat. No, it's not me. It's not you. In the final moments of the fight, who would still the show? 49 0 equals Rocky Marciano's. How did the fight might wane because it took so long for the rewards to do it? He could do it. If that guy that fell was good of him, I think that's a part of As long as he was in the ring without the tactical ammunition to open up, he was stretching it out to maximize the dollars. He was right. Get to the last 10 seconds. 
the celebration is probably beginning. The event was concluded with the two congratulating each other. <laughs> and even before the scorecards were read, Mayweather felt pretty confident. Mayweather threw seven more punches. In favor of the winner by unanimous decision. For Floyd, this was vindication for the years of doubt from critics. But Manny Pacquiao's a tough competitor, so I had to take my time and watch him extremely close. He had moments in the fight, you know, I kept him on the outside, I was a smart fighter, I outboxed him. Uh, Manny Pacquiao's a tough competitor, he's a true champion at heart, both was at our best tonight. What's your impression of this fight? You got him many times, I saw the punches, and I think I, I believe, I, I thought I won the fight. Floyd had won the biggest bout in boxing history, and though the result was unanimous, there still were critics who felt that Pacquiao's aggression should have earned him a win. In my books, Floyd won maximum four to five rounds, that's it. I saw little to no offense. If don't nobody hurt each other bad and one guy throwing the more punches, then how do you score the card? Yeah. The aggressor wins the fight. That was Evander Holyfield's point. Pacquiao dominated Mayweather throughout the entire Not fight. True. It is true. Not true. And he came down. Just uh, be defensive and at the end, uh, he won. Pacquiao was the aggressor. I got him in at least seven rounds being more aggressive. Took this fight and put it in a vacuum. Manny Pacquiao would win that fight. And if that wasn't enough, Pacquiao then revealed that he didn't go into the fight 100%. Up here in my, in my, my right uh, shoulder. I thought the progress was good enough and uh, that's why we stayed with the fight. What we want to do is uh, we cannot go because uh, Oh, my shoulder. I don't believe you. I gotta, I gotta show respect and just say he was the better man if he beat me. Both of my arms was injured. Both of my hands was injured. Everyone was saying for years I was scared and um, Floyd would lose. Tomorrow, for all those that wrote bad stories about me, I'm gonna wake up early in the morning and I want to see y'all stories tomorrow. <laughs> Floyd sternly ruled out a rematch. I don't want to do business with him anymore because he's a sore loser. If you lost, accept the loss and say, you know what? You was the better fighter. It's okay to be right behind me. I lost a lot of respect for him. You know, a true champion can bounce back. Manny Pacquiao, you're not on my level. You will never be on my level. Excuses, excuses, excuses. After all was said and done, the history books would name Mayweather as the victor of the most lucrative fight. But Mayweather's career wasn't over just yet. Floyd's last win against Pacquiao was his biggest, but fans were left feeling disappointed because he cruised to victory. You guys put all the hype in Manny Pacquiao. That was you, that's what the media did. Pacquiao wasn't able to bring the best out of me. So, I believe Berto is the guy for the job. That Floyd Pacquiao fight was born. You ever seen a boring Andre Berto fight? No. And though Andre Berto was a former champion, Many felt that a 49-0 record was guaranteed. Well, it's not over yet. We still got 36 minutes to perform. What about number 50? What about number 50? I can't overlook 49. Any, anything is possible. Anything can happen. Andre was overlooked, but he certainly saw the value of the opportunity that was presented before him. Um, what's going on in my mind? I need to take that. I'm not going to stand there and look at you run around the ring all day. I'm gonna come and get it. To show him that it's gonna be a long night. I mean, I got some history of my own I'm trying to make. Critics expressed that Mayweather should have picked someone more difficult than Berto. It's nothing that nobody can tell me that I don't deserve. On top, and I got a chance to go in there and just shock the world. Mayweather believed that as he had proven enough already, 
he was justified in making his send-off fight against whoever he wanted. So is this the way you're going out? This is it for you? Like that's that's the way you're going out with with Andre Berto? Absolutely. I beat everybody I had to beat. No matter who I chose, the media was gonna have something to say. The critics was gonna have something to say. Y'all chose Canelo, y'all chose Beck, y'all did that. That knocked them all down. So don't come to me telling me about no fighters no more. Most people didn't believe that Floyd would leave the sport after 49 wins, as getting 50 wins would beat Rocky Marciano's historic record of 49 straight wins. Saying that this is not Floyd's last fight. We'll just see. Two and a half, three weeks, and you know, I'm ready to hang it up and spend time with my children. But Floyd felt that the quality of his opponents meant that he had already surpassed Marciano. For the boxing, before I got in the sport, it was all about heavyweights. Floyd Mayweather is a winner when it's all said and done. How many world champions I beat? The most in history, baby. I had a great career. No fighter in the history has done what Floyd Mayweather has done. And I had a brilliant game plan. Talk trash and back it up. And that's what I did. And as the bout approached, there was a sense of seriousness for Floyd's last fight. When it comes to Saturday night, when it comes to fight time, I'm coming from my respect. You got fighters that may hit harder than me. You got fighters that's very athletic, but you don't have no fighter that can make adjustments like me. This is called chess, not checkers. I'll see you guys Saturday. Berto was the underdog, but he was certainly coming to win. Review King and pound for pound superstar Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather putting his undefeated record on the line. Floyd Mayweather has said that this is it, the last chapter of his illustrious career. From the first round, Mayweather showed immediately a difference in class. Mayweather is going to the body, attacking with the right hand. Even though Berto was taking it serious, Mayweather was not, proving that as he claimed, even if a fighter has lots of strength, quickness or will, in order to beat him, they would need equal skill. And as the end of the fight was nearing, he started to get a little bit nostalgic. You fought me from day one. How old you been? Every day working. In the last round, Mayweather punctuated the fight with a great uppercut before claiming his 49th victory against no losses and no draws. And still champion, the undefeated. After 19 years of professional fighting, Floyd was finished. My career is over. Is that official? Uh, it's official. He's been world champion 18 years. You know, I broke all records. You gotta know when to hang it up. Floyd had made his claim to the title of the best ever. Am I wrong for saying that I'm the best? Don't it, don't it also show? After 2015, Mayweather stuck to his word that he wasn't coming back until one seed of temptation began to blossom from a fighter who fought in the mixed martial arts side of combat. This fighter named Conor McGregor was a mirroring parallel to Mayweather when it came to charisma. Conor's meteoric rise in the UFC saw him claim the throne as the world's most intriguing draw as he knocked out opponents from a stand-up position to put him in comparisons with Mayweather. And it seemed that he was getting bored of the challenges in his side of the pond. Come here around here, I might have to jump up and drag Floyd Mayweather out of bed and see what the he's at again. Saying that, there are many, many forms of fighting that can't beat him, so. Floyd, I mean, who would not like to dance around the ring for $180 million? <laughs> yeah. Once Floyd got whiff of Connor's challenge, he worked on putting together a crossover fight. Fingers crossed, it may be a boxer versus an MMA fighter, so we just don't know. It's gonna be a tough fight for me, so we don't really know as of right now, but it's been a lot of talk. Mayweather seemed to confirm that the fight would take place in 2016. However, it appeared as if Floyd was just teasing the fans when UFC promoter Dana White claimed nothing was in the works. There was no offer ever made to anybody, and I'm actually making a real offer. We'll pay you $25 million. We'll pay Conor $25 million. There's a real offer to Floyd. However, Floyd found the offer of $25 million laughable. <laughs> Last time I made $25 million was 10 years ago. Wow. Leading up to the Pacquiao fight, that week, I made somewhere 25 to 30 million. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm signing off. It's all about Mayweather promotions. Always. Thank you, Sam. Appreciate it. Dana felt that Floyd was just being greedy. First of all, Floyd thinks he's so much bigger than Connor. He's wrong. I'm not going to pay him way more money than I'm going to pay my guy. Where do we go from here, Floyd? 
Connor went on to end 2016 by knocking out respected lightweight king Eddie Alvarez to become a two divisional champion. But the boxing world was still unsure if that meant he could take on Floyd. I don't think it's fundamental bad, but I think that it's fundamental that he went up there with the man either. A jab, a jab would take care of his ass all day. They do learn striking, but it's a whole different level of striking in a pure boxing match than it is in a UFC fight. But most of these fighters like Conor, they do train at boxing. So their chances to beat a boxer is much better than a boxer's chance to beat a UFC guy who doesn't train UFC at all. But the general sports world felt that McGregor's momentum gave him an edge. Because Conor McGregor is the baddest man on the planet. I think he could beat Floyd. And the anticipation for the fight increased once Connor officially received a boxing license. Got his boxing license, full chicken mode. You know it is. He'd be a fool to box this man. And I just don't think at age 40 that he could knock out me. Floyd was offended that Connor was even being put on his level. But never compare. Conor McGregor to me. I, I'm an elephant. Elephant don't beef with ants. He compared, you, he compared you to an ant. He said he's an elephant. Time to say it to my face. But all of this talk served to build up the fight. A lot of barking, but there's no biting. If When you talk about biting, sign the contract. Don't talk the shit. If you really want to fight, sign the contract. Connor was waiting for a contract offer that would make it worthy. He's running around the Showtime offices begging to come up with 100 million cash for me to, to fight me. As long as that money is there, then we can fight under your safety net of rules. And in 2017, Floyd officially announced he was coming back. Coming out of retirement just to fight Conor McGregor. Sign the paperwork. Let's do it. I'm, I'm out of retirement for Conor McGregor today. The build-up to this mega fight would be like no other before, with a four-city press tour kicking off in Los Angeles, and the fireworks had begun before the fight started. Baby, we did it! He is Both fighters had never encountered an opponent who was just as confident and talkative as they were. He will be unconscious inside four rounds. He's not experienced this. I'm not the same fight I was two years ago. But I got enough to beat you. Oh, it's the A side. That's why this had to come to the boxing ring. I don't give a if it's, a, if it's an octagon. Put me in here. Don't be talking. He wants me to come over his side. That's no problem. I'll do that. That's confidence. You name him, and I beat him. You can get it right now. You can get it right now. You can get it right now. After an exciting first presser, the two travelled to Toronto, Canada, and the intensity of the talk went up even more. Let's get the press conference started! I want everyone in this arena to scream at the top of your lungs, F the Mayweathers! Floyd is an old, weak bitch. One, two, three, f the Mayweather! You're in a school bag on stage. What are you doing with a school bag on stage? You can't even read. He won't do shit. 40 years old carrying a school bag. The man doesn't even f***ing read. The f***ing fans can't fight for you. Shut your f***ing mouth. Be that. Let me see the bag. That like the f***ing quit. There's a f***ing quitter. I'm 40, but I love 20. And you act him. Yeah, right here. He like to quit. Real killers don't quit. You're against a different animal here, Floyd. Shut the up, Shut bitch. Shut your mouth. Shut, Shut your mouth. Huh. You do something with that flag, you ain't getting this bag or this money back, and I'm gonna f you up on this stage. After Canada came New York, where the two verbally jousted again at the Barclays Centre, with even more drama for the fans. You know what I smell? I smell a. Stay calm, 
dollar meal, she got plenty of ass. Yeah, I love the strippers. Yeah, yeah I love the strippers. Yeah. Yeah. Floyd was quick to remind the haters that this fight was smart business. My legacy is already stamped on me. I don't need to do that. They're going to talk about this business move at Harlem. On to the next press stop, and the two went to London, England, which was, of course, a neighbor to Connor's homeland of Ireland. I get to quadruple my net worth for half a fight. This is my first time in a boxing ring, and in six weeks, I run boxing! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> and when I sleep him, I'm gonna bounce his head off the canvas as well. Though casual fans were enthralled by this fight, the boxing world felt that this fight was a total disrespect to the sport. The fans think boxing yeah. I, I I really don't see boxing dying, not through this fight or another one. And most boxing insiders agreed that there was no way that Connor would pull off the upset despite Floyd's inactivity and old age. May have a puncher's chance, but I just don't see it happening. Too much skill, too much talent on one end. I don't give him a shot. Not even not even a shot. Um, I see McGregor noticing on hard Mayweather hits. I think he'll end up stopping him. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. TKO or KO? TKO. Floyd is praying for me to fatigue in there, but I will not fatigue. I will continue to press forward and I will break him. But perhaps the biggest critic of Connor was former champ turned commentator, Paulie Malinaji, who from the first mention of the fight in 2016, gave a harsh assessment of his chances. It, it, it's almost laughable. It put him in with a guy like me. I, I would laugh my way through the whole fight. I really would. It'd be like it'd be like watching. Well, it'd be like you know watching a Kevin Hart movie. You know what I mean? You just sit there laughing. Like that's what I'd be doing. I'd be sitting there laughing while I'm fighting the guy because it's it's more comedy than than it is anything else. An offended Connor got his opportunity to make Paulie eat those words by inviting Paulie to be a sparring partner. Uh, Connor's like a baby elephant. He stores that. Was like, all right, man. Oh, he said that. Mm -hmm. Whoops. Look, he's he's been brought in to spar, and then he'll answer to what he's been saying, and then we'll go from there after that. But when the sparring took place, Connor showed that his boxing skills were better than expected, and eventually he knocked Paulie down. And that just convinced fans that maybe Connor would cause an upset. How many more people are gonna buy the fight now that you see Connor landing that straight left, dropping Paul and Paul? He came in, he spoke a hell, he spoke a hell of a game previous. Very disrespectful to to the skill set. Very disrespectful to the discipline. It didn't go his way. He got his ass whooped. He got his pride dented, and then he wanted a way out. And that way that he took was right into the gym of Mayweather, who teased that the whole thing was just planned out right from the beginning. Paulie, thank you for going over there like I asked you to do. And he, and he, he made it look good when he grabbed you and threw you down. <laughs> you got a chance. I was a good one. We're gonna sit at the house and talk about, talk about strategy. We're gonna talk about every day. Don't you worry. Paulie. And have Paulie talked about it to me? <laughs> we'll just see. But none of this seemed to phase Connor. Let him, let him, let him speak. I'm sure he has. Let him speak. You can't prepare for me. You can't prepare for me. However, Connor felt that Floyd was relying on him coming in ill prepared. Praying for me to fatigue in there, but I will not fatigue. I will continue to press forward and I will break him. We know dancing in there, Conan. I'm going to go straight forward and put him away inside four rounds. And at the last press conference, the two shared final words. You should have left me over on that other game that I'm from, that more ruthless game where we bounce heads off the canvas. We are prepared for 12 three-minute rounds of non-stop pace. The same way you give it, you have to be able to take it. Remember this. But for me to be 49 and 0, I'm not receiving it. I'm giving it. Boom. Head off the canvas. And the new king of boxing. Good luck. Good luck to you too. The massive weigh-in continued on the excited atmosphere. For perhaps the first time in his career, Mayweather was being out-talked.
but he did have one last thing to say. It won't go the distance. Mark my word. Conor McGregor having the audacity to go beyond the wall of the octagon. It's showtime! McGregor! Mayweather! Mr. Mr. Robert Bird. Mr. Mayweather. Yes. Gentlemen, let's do this. In the first round, Connor came out storming, and it was clear that his awkward style would need some adapting to. Exactly what we would expect from He's filled out so much since the way in Jester. Never been defeated, but he's never met anyone quite like Cordella Hoya. Canelo out. There's a mismatch, obviously, with Conor McGregor making his debut. Unlike many opponents, Conor had prepared a reliable counter to Mayweather's lead right hands. If he can utilize that in this fight, he's going to have to do it early on. Is he banking? The start was in Conor's favor. Doing OK. Wrote him off. Call this a total mismatch. Gregor bringing something different. Look at that. Mayweather invested in body shots to tire Connor out. Energy of Conor McGregor as long as this. But Connor was full of energy and had a habit of reverting back to his old MMA attack. Don't do that. Don't do that. No oh. hammer fists allowed. Land some punches on game plan. I really feel like he's trying to draw the. Three shots were being hinted out as uh, Floyd gave us his speech, and he's in this fight. Put in them many times. Looks like McGregor. Like a, a clock inside him. In the speed as well and. Mayweather just trying this. We don't know anything about him. Floyd has not been able to study any boxing. Up until now, Connor had been doing better, but now Floyd wanted to turn up the pressure. Three rounds of the money fight in Sin City. Enjoy it, yeah? It's only gonna get better. Easy walk. Specialist. Look at this pressure early. Connor back him up against the ropes, like connects early and hurts his opponents now. Obviously, Floyd Mayweather is a very difficult person to become a disadvantage for Connor if he's slowing him down. Good body shot from Mayweather went in. In the fourth, Mayweather was beginning to walk Connor down, forcing Connor to burn a lot of energy. Really working to the body now with that straight right. He's had more success in that. The Papo predicted knockouts. McGregor. Connor's corner was now getting weary of Floyd's plan to tie up Connor out. This is starting to warm up to come up to together. Go for the straight right. Come on. Floyd was now starting to increase the pressure as he wanted Connor to shoot his best punches. Now it was becoming abundantly clear that McGregor was indeed losing energy. Absolutely goes for break, maybe trying to pace him on the first couple. Maybe the second is fine. Midway through. The bout was turning up in intensity, and Mayweather was swinging hard punches. So that pick some heavy counter punch, which is what he's doing now. Whether he has the conditioning to back it up, though, is really the question here. But this is seen him with this sort of approach in quite a few fights. Yeah, kind of landed that big punch. So he's obviously tactically trying to get. Despite being past 40, Mayweather was looking fresh going into the middle late rounds. Very accurate here in round seven. Still been there, but he still can't get reckless. Connor still got that one point power. I mean, that's crazy. To try and weigh on Floyd a little more against the ropes. He is the best of our generation in the uppercut, but being walked down, that was low from Mayweather. But that wasn't for the first couple that just gone for broke. As time progressed, Floyd's domination began to grow. Coming forward to try and knock someone out. Doesn't happen. You're right what you said, Carl, earlier, though. The power now, he's gone from those punches. In the uppercut, but being walked down, that was low from Mayweather. But that wasn't. The... And the truth of the ring really beginning. Fight Mayweather. And now Mayweather, the time beginning to turn around six. Now Mayweather beginning to... Very first boxing match, so 
No, th there was going to be a. It's going to be in throwing up the DD rounds to get through with the best boxer in the world. It makes sense to be a little cautious. This fight when he wants to end it. Oh my words. When he decides this fight's over, Floyd Mayweather will see shots. Possibly McGregor being stopped on his himself. Excellently within the rules here, Conor McGregor. But the rule Surprisingly, in round nine, McGregor came out with a second win. But how long would it last? Shot. And maybe with a hurt there, was that low or was that legit? He knows he's getting into the last few rounds, so he can invest a little more in these punches. But feels that he hasn't really. Man, we've still got half a round to go. He's taking deep. Connor had spent all of his energy, and with three and a half rounds still to go. No way, smiling, looking around. Oh, just falling into the road. Another right hand on left. Oh, See, especially with his opponent taking deep breaths. It now seemed like a stoppage was imminent and Floyd knew it, so he pushed the attack. Switch is there, McGregor. Southpaw to Orthodox. Oh, oh. Wants a different outcome. This is the round where he. The punishment. Conor McGregor's game effort is over. Since 2011. Mayweather had done it yet again and he had reached 50 and 0. And still undefeated Floyd. This was my last fight tonight, ladies and gentlemen. My last fight. He's a lot better than I thought he was. I must come straight ahead, go to him. We want him to shoot his heavy shots and get a fans to show. And I think I, that's what I gave him. I, I guaranteed everybody that this fight wouldn't go the distance. <laughs> I like to call up uh, the notorious one, Conor McGregor. Despite the bad blood prior to the bout, they had now earned each other's respect. I thought Floyd was phenomenal in there, very composed, very select with his shots. I didn't anticipate that. Three, three game changes in the, in the fight. That's what a true champion does. Much respect, you, 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 you came with it. And if an enemy of Floyd could give his credit, would the media finally do the same? I told you, Skip. He was going to spring that trap on him, and he got it. My final and biggest takeaway from what I saw on Saturday night, let me congratulate Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Floyd Sr. Floyd did something I thought he couldn't do. He came out of his comfort zone. He had to just lower his head and bull into to Conor McGregor's chest, and he did it. By far, entertaining and impressive fight of Floyd's career. After looking back at Floyd's life and career, without excessive focus on the controversial, it becomes difficult not to admit that Floyd's story is indeed a fight to the top. And though some of his methods turn some fans into haters, it must be remembered that without those methods, he may not have commanded the attention that made him into a superstar. But more than being a superstar, he was the American dream. You know, I'm a kid that came from poverty. And he was birthed amongst chaos and crime. Seven deep in a one bedroom apartment, no hot water. He showed us that hard work pays. You gotta push yourself and tell yourself it ain't never enough. And with a perfect pro record, he had still taken L's. Guess what? This was not a good decision. You know, I can't deal with this amateur boxing anymore. He showed us exactly how to respond. Because that made me work hard to get to where I'm at today. And those losses extended outside of the ring. And to find out that my freedom is more important than anything. Tough times don't last, tough people do. And throughout two decades, he faced critics who were never satisfied. As an honest person, I spoke my mind. And I'm speaking from the heart. That's what counts. In his defiance to the naysayers, he showed us how to believe. Every fighter that's in this room has to feel that he's the best. I don't call it overconfidence, I call it believing. Along with his growth came the mending of family conflict. Like, all right, baby, you can... Make sure like, everything's good, my man. All right, that's Put it. my family, my mother, my father in a comfortable position. He set an example to those who look up to him 
using his mind to become a billion dollar champion. And continue this to live a, you know, a healthy life. Life. They can have it all back. I just want to live a long time. He pushed the next generation to be great. To inspire the kids and tell them, you can make it to this point someday also. It's time for a new start to rise. Hopefully under the Mayweather banner, which we truly believe we can find the next Floyd Mayweather. And stepping into the void that Mayweather left would take one hell of a fighter. But at least it can be said that Mayweather left the perfect blueprint for fighters to follow, both inside the ring and out.